Um, why is it saying something went wrong? Whatever. I okay. Let's just open YouTube again here and fix the problem I was having. Um, hold on. Okay, yeah, I was fine. I just wanted to make sure uh, anyway, because it would be kind of awkward if it just didn't um, save my stuff, you know? So I just wanted to make sure we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. I guess I'll post the new link because um, old link was dumb. Uh, hold on, just do that real quick. New content. <laughs> here hold on i'm just doing something real quick this we'll just do this honestly and all right i think i think we're good now uh we were good we were good before i just wanted to restart the stream just to make sure and, you know, because better safe than sorry would have been really awkward if it just didn't. Um, anyway, yeah, let, let's 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 continue. Nothing happened. We're all good. Everything's good. <laughs> ah. So, yeah, we got the thing and we're going to put it in here. Oh, this reminds me of one of those building toys I mean, with the blocks. <laughs> Lego. I've never played with them before. I wonder if it's more interesting than <coughs> stacking chips. Bruh. <coughs> Was I here talking about kids' games? No oh, look. <coughs> the gap is closed. And it fits perfectly. Like how the chats from last stream are still so on the screen. What's next? <coughs> <coughs> Alright, let's go in. in a dream why is bro scared why is bro scared oh doctor you're <clears throat> huge that's what she said it's me down here in the, the sand pit oh, actually i think we could make this work for us just find a way to slip me into sunday's collar and i'll infiltrate the family <laughs> bro <Bruh. clears throat> Oh, fine. I was just kidding. <laughs> Let's find a way to open the door. This is so cool. That's so cool. So we're tied. Oh, he's there. Big ratio. Let's go. The biggest ratio of them all. Okay, and that takes you back out. Oh. Dude, what? That's so cool. That's actually the coolest shit. Holy fuck. That's awesome. Oh, I love that. That's so cool. This guy's walking into the wall. Bro, you good? Is this intentional? Is this intentional? I'm not actually sure. That's the thing. I really don't know. And I don't know if I ever will. Does this count as a different area, by the way? It. Oh my god. What? That's so weird. That's so weird. Okay, this is a reused asset. Chest? Chesto? Chesto! 
Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh, this is the Oh. Oh, it is. Yeah, this is the um the gambling area. Oh, there's enemies over here. Ew. Why are there enemies over here? Whoa, buddy, you don't know I'm here. Calm yourself. Oh yeah, guys are just walking into the fucking... <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Very interesting. Okay. Alright, do that. Oh. What? Just do that. Yep. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> and then... There we go. <clears throat> Easy. <clears throat> <clears throat> Didn't really need the mirror for that one. Yeah, oh my god. Wait, so all the people are just like walking in place. Oh. Oh. That's weird. Is this intentional? I feel like this is intentional, right? Because like... It's like a figurine, right? So... It's standing like that makes sense. <clears throat> I'm industrial pride. And like the people walking in place... What the hell is going on here? What the hell? This guy's dead. <laughs> this is so weird. Why are they? <laughs> this is so creepy. This is the creepiest shit ever. Sorry, just had me on back. Welcome back. Hello, Acheron. Oh my god, it's the Acheron? Holy shit. Acheron, what are you doing? Why are you an emanator? <laughs> And are you an emanator of nihility? Or are you an emanator of something else? Hello and wait, wait. Hello and indu I'm industrial scum. So true and relatable. Happy to be of service. Dude, this is so creepy. This is actually so creepy. The way they're just like walking in place. That's so creepy. This guy's on. What is, what is happening? I'm the world's <laughs> I'm the world's lousiest soldier. Is mommy Acheron? Yo, hold on, hold on, hold on. Back the back the fuck up. Back up. She ain't she don't know you, little bro. Oh, take that. I will gladly take that. Oh, chest. This place is weird and creepy. Our <laughs> emanator of these nuts. Dude, it really is the world's lousiest soldier. He couldn't even be bothered to clip on... He couldn't even be bothered to have collision, so he just clipped into the ground. Emanator of Nihility. Figured. They don't need to know that. <laughs> okay, but hold on. Can someone explain to me... Sparkles is over here having fun like she usually does because she's cute. But, like, can someone explain to me... Am I... Is this intentional or am I... Is my game, like, hard mad bugging right now? Because, like, this is kind of weird. I'm... If this is intentional, it's cool as fuck. But if it's not, it's funny as hell. <coughs> oh, wait, is this just the entrance? Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Lol. It has to be intentional. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's definitely intentional, right? Uh, who are you? I don't even know who this is. I would, I would be lesbian. <laughs> so true. No, that's real as fuck. Wait, I'm in a different... Sp Okay, let's follow the giant Dr. Ratio. I feel like that's what I'm supposed to be doing. I'm Industrial Pride. Wait, isn't there a guy over here named Industrial Scum? Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. Yeah, I swear there was a guy somewhere. I'm Industrial Scum, yeah. This guy's up there. Yeah, this is definitely intentional. They're like figurines. That's kind of the point, I think, is that they're figurines. Anyone catch your eye? Probably uh, probably Firefly, honestly, ca caught uh, Acheron's eye.
But she did. Unless... Unless she is Sam, I'm just saying, like, it feels very possible. Seems very possible, I'm just saying. <laughs> Traumatizing black swan and act like you did nothing because your memory is dodgy and continuing your relationship anyways. <laughs> so true, bro. Hush your mouth. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Chat. Genuinely? Oh. Oh. Okay, yeah, this is intentional. Good, good. I will be here to guide she says I did, and I evidently did model. not because we had a normal be dance. <clears throat> that was a very normal dance. There was nothing, nothing suspicious about that dance. Huh. And tell me about the tour. I actually haven't seen that that Hello. short. Welcome to the Golden Hour base model. <laughs> It sounds like me when, when I'm not streaming. <laughs> Give it a kick. Bro, I was talking to you. My bad for that, by the way. I just slipped out. This is what I sound like when I'm not streaming, by the way. <laughs> Bro turned into a sprinkler. <laughs> Bro turned into a fucking sprinkler. <clears throat> kick it again. I didn't even kick it the first time. <clears throat> the nearest check -in spot. Please look behind me. A capsule ma a sheen model. <laughs> What the fuck? After screaming, this soldier collapses. He didn't even have time to earn a five-star rating from you. Oh, where even is where even is he? Oh, giant bird! Oh, even the birds are big. Like they got the bird. That's such a. I'm so glad that the birds are there. Where is Ratio? I don't even see him. He's somewhere. Firefly damage? Who did that? That didn't happen. No, I mean, she's... Yeah, I mean, no. So yeah, surely she's still alive. Yeah. <laughs> uh. The only normal person in here right now is Sparkle. And that's saying something, because it's Sparkle. His crash, it may take some time to reboot. Alright. Oh. <clears throat> Capsule machine. Oh, there's no mechanism on the floor. She should minor injury. She should have just <laughs> minor injury. She should have just gotten over it. True, I agree. Doctor, just walk it off. It's his only a favor. flesh wound. <clears throat> Everything's very normal in Panacone. <clears throat> oh. So. Oh. Right. These models have interiors that. Look Where is he? The only difference is that no one lives in them. Funny that Sunday puts a miniature that makes him seem like a giant by comparison, right where he can see it first thing in the morning. <laughs> Insecure much? <laughs> okay, well, let's get the thing. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, the puzzle piece. Yeah, that's, that's that makes sense. <clears throat> Giuseppe, you need to get Arlecchino to accept me. So I, what, sh so what should I do? Put Lynette, Linny, or however you spell his name, in on a in a really dangerous situation and save him, or fight Nuve. Um, definitely the former. I don't think she cares enough about Nuvelet for you to fight him. Her and Nuvelet are actually buddies, um, so I don't think fighting Nuvelet would do anything. Oh, I didn't even. Hi, I didn't even see. Looks like an owl, but it spat out. It actually spat out an origami bird. Bird. There's something here that feels invisible. <clears throat> yeah, I forgot that I can't see them because I'm adventuring. Apparently, adventuring can't see the birds. Which, don't ask me how or why that is the case, but apparently, adventuring just can't see us. The problem is, if she finds out I did that, I'm fucked and I 
and if I fight any Villette, I might be fucked. Yeah, it seems like damned if you do, damned if you don't. I think the way you make uh, Arlachine. Okay, hold on. Let me show you. All right, gamers, we're gonna take a we're gonna take a little detour. Okay, take a little detour for a second, and I'm gonna show you a surefire way to make um to make her accept you. Okay, so Twitter dot com slash Zy I don't know if this works. No, I'll just type in twitter.com. Okay, and then we go to um search Zyox. Okay. And then go here R R Lich you know. I, I thought you could search people's things. Can you not? I thought you oh no no you have to you have to do oh I forgot you have to do um Z Zyox Arlecchino. Okay, so if we go through where Zyox talks about Arlecchino, <laughs> I, I hope I don't run into anything sus. That'd be very bizarre. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, <laughs> I'm trying to find it. Did he not? Did he get rid of it? Hold on. It's such a meme. <laughs> Everyone's posting about it. Hold on. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's it? No, it doesn't go any further than that. Okay, okay, okay. Um... <laughs> so here's what you gotta do. You gotta find... You gotta, you gotta type this. Dearest Arlecchino, I am writing you this letter to introduce myself. My name is Zyox, but you can call me Nick. I would love to get to know you better. I am good friends with both Linny and Lynette. Fremenay doesn't talk much, and I've heard many wonderful things about you. If you... Okay, so if you if you type that, and you send that to Arlecchino, she will like you, and then when her banner comes out, she'll come home in a single pull. Not a, ten pull, not a single ten pull, she'll come home in a single pull. And that's all you gotta do. You just gotta let her know that you are good friends with Lynette and Linny and, and Fremde doesn't talk much and that you would like to get to know her better and that your name is Zyox, but you can, they, she can call you Nick. There you go. And once you've done that, then immediately automatically you've, you just Insta rizzed Arlecchino and you'll never have to worry about her again. Amazing idea. <laughs> cool idea. Is that? Yeah, it does. I'm gonna get I'm gonna do this then. All right, good. Sounds like a plan. Look, I, I'm glad you have your mind set on what you want to do. Because that is that is the correct way. <clears throat> okay. So anyway, what am I doing? Yeah, I'm back here now. There's enemies over here. I have to fight the enemies. That's fine. <clears throat> Amazing idea. Very good idea. Oh, that this fucker! Ew. Um, do that. Okay, and I'm gonna do this. Boom. Okay. Wasn't quite what I was expecting, but it worked out. Oh, more, more enemies. enemies. <laughs> so, so Wolf and I both is like, huh. <laughs> More enemies. <laughs> More enemies. Wanted her weapon, but to honestly, her C1s look so good, I may skip it and use White Tassel. Uh, I feel like. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like her weapon. I feel like her C1 is better than her weapon. I don't know why they decided that, but they just decided that her her C1 gets to be better than her weapon. Not not really sure why they made that decision, but they just did. Oh, one of the fragments flew upstairs. I'll need to use the pinball machine to flick myself up there. <clears throat> like I don't know what they were thinking, but for some reason. They decided, okay, we need to make her signature weapon, like, super mid, and then make her C1 really fucking broken, so that people pull for her C1 and not her weapon. Which, I guess, like, C it's better to pull for C1 anyway, because, um, pulling for weapons is cringe and a scam. 
But it just feels silly. I actually wanted to use Beta with her. So let's see with resistance. I mean, you can still use Beta with her. I just don't see a reason to. Oh. Oh, bro's leaving. <laughs> I just have to wait. <clears throat> oh, we're ratio now. Yo! Yo! We're playing as Dr. Ratio! Let's go! Why don't I talk to the birds? You're a faint sound. Okay, we also can't see the birds. That's fair. What happens if I try to go in here? I don't like doing stupid shit. It makes Genshin fun. That's fair. I would rate it more favorably if that clamorous little person inside were gone. Ratio, I can hear you. Okay, so now we have three different characters' perceptives to percep pers perspectives. Oh. No, we can't actually. We're still apparently ratio, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but okay. Oh, we have Fu Shuen back on the team. That actually makes sense now because we have ratio, but it also means that Ching Chui feels out of place because we have ratio. There we go. And what are we doing? Okay, we're going over here. Let's Fu Shuen game a little bit. I haven't seen Fu Shuen much today, and she's very pretty, so we'll, we'll Fu Shuen game a little bit here. Also, the sound that she makes when you start dashing, I don't know, I see like a little ding. Bing, bing. Yeah, everyone has like a little sound they make. It's funny because it's like different for each character. Like the fact that they put attention into that to make it different for each character is like, why? Like, I don't mind, but that's just so cool. <laughs> Um, why I learned MM Hunter wasn't good with Arlecchino anymore in our world game. <laughs> yeah, Marisha Say, unfortunately, not very good with Arlecchino. Because, cause she, I mean, she does increase her HP, but only when she uses her Bond of Life, which can be rather inconsistent. Zhongli moment, baby. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. <laughs> they got 28% crit damage on Marisha Oh, that's so good. It's okay, you can still use that on any other... Like, you can use that on Nuvulat. Boom. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, this this ratio is definitely better than my ratio. <laughs> Boom. I should have gone for the other guy. Kick. Because I got 28% crit damage. Yeah, I read that already. Um... Boom. Alright, now watch. Ready? L plus ratio! I love that. That's so good. All right, kick, boom, and who does that transfer to? Nobody. Wow, that's unfortunate. <clears throat> Not having Nivellet be like, I mean, isn't he on the banner right now? Just pull him. It's definitely worth it to pull for him. Oh, I didn't get the crit. Oh, I didn't get the follow up there. Quite unfortunate. Watch like this. And now it's at 100%. Yep. See? Do look, all I'm going to say is that Dr. Ratio kind of broke in. Right? Like, we're all in agreement on this. What? Why do you not have quantum weakness? You always have quantum weakness. Cheating. Wow. SMH, my head.
Everything from my big daddy Arlequino. <laughs> Based. Got him. Uh, you know what? We're gonna do this. I don't know if this will still trigger the follow up if it dies. I don't think it will. Oh, it still did. Okay. All right. Cool. Good to know. I'm just gonna give him some wax and hit him with one of these. They got like 136 wishes. Your agreement on Doctor Ratio being broken. Okay. Good. I mean, he is broken. That's just a fact. <laughs> Wonder if I can get 200 by the time she comes out. I doubt it. I seriously doubt it. I know how this game functions. I don't think it's. I don't think so. Personally, like my personal opinion. Damn, I really thought. I really hoped. One of these guys. Let's be real, that's not happening. 100 on character, 100. Yeah, no, it's not gonna happen. Like, it's just not. You can't get that much. Um... Wait, how do they. Hold on. I wanna know how they have the ratio built. Is it not gonna tell me? Oh no, I can check outside of combat. Boom. Okay. And yeah, we'll just go ahead and use that. Hit you. You're dead, right? Yep. Uh, definitely normal. Sparkle being the most normal person. Manicone is crazy. That's not what I said. I said she was the most normal person in that in that in that room. In that room, okay? In that little like figurine, like with all the figurines. She was the only one who wasn't a figurine, therefore she's the most normal. In all of Panacone, absolutely not. She's far from the most normal person, and that's why I love her so much. She's absolutely batshit insane. That's what makes her so hot. Uh, sorry, I was just um, thinking about Sparkle like, for a second. Uh, anyway. <laughs> that's it. Pleasant moments of solitude are always fleeting. <laughs> Pinball machine model. Mod model, yeah. I heard you. You think I don't see the bird? Arguably, Sampo or Black Swan might. Sampo is anything but normal. The most normal person in Penacony, without question, Firefly. <laughs> ha! <laughs> I think I hear something. <laughs> I like. I just like the fact that like. Only the trailblazer can see the birds. Like, everyone else is just like, ah, oh, I think I hear something. They don't actually know they're there. It's so funny. Dead people are normal. Okay, but Sampo? Have you met that man? That man is anything but normal. Black Swan, maybe. I'd say, honestly, probably Sunday. Ooh, a cutscene. Give us a whole cinematic for this? Bro. <laughs> Alright, Pog. Dr. Ratio is pretty normal. Yeah, all things considered, he's probably fairly normal. I'm not saying something, because he's definitely not normal. Um, but yeah, no, you're, that's, yeah. Does this one have the pieces already? It does, okay. So... Put you there. You yeah, you go here. You're here. You are here. That and then you're here. You are right here. And you my friend go there. I'm normal though, trust. I just remember saying that he was an ass. He said thank you. Yeah, yeah, he is an asshole, but... Well, he's not an asshole. He's just like... He's... Hello, I am an, I am an NPC. Bro, he's self-aware. He's self-aware. Oh my god. He's fucking self-aware, bro. <clears throat> no, but um... 
I don't think adventuring is an asshole. He's definitely not an asshole. He's just extremely like grimy and untrustworthy, you know, like nothing. You can't like you can't trust a thing that comes out of his mouth. He's a liar, a cheater and a thief. Just like all Sagonians. For real, for real. Boing. Well, he knows how... He knows he's in a... Welt knows he's in a game. I don't know about... That. I don't know if Welt knows he's in a game. He might. No. Welt doesn't know. Oh. Hi. Hello, doctor. Honestly, you could easily squash me with just... Don't tempt me. If that is your wish, <laughs> hesitation. <laughs> it's like, hey, don't tempt me. Don't tempt me with a good offer. <laughs> okay, I have to go around. Yeah, okay. There's a voice line where you could put Welt in the MC on the same team. Welt knows the MC is the protagonist. Okay, but he's he's not saying as the protagonist of this story. Hold on. I'm going to prove you... Okay, I'm going to prove you wrong. Right here, right now, Emerge. Right? So, let me get... Let me get myself. Okay. And then we'll get... We'll get well. As the protagonist of your own story, it's up to you to overcome and forge ahead. As the protagonist of your own story. He's not saying of this story. He's saying of your own story. So, and just to confirm. Okay, go to characters. We go here. The information. The voice. Okay, we go down. Is it combat? No, it's in this. Interactive voices all the way at the bottom. Let me, right here. As the protagonist okay. of your own story. As the protagonist as you of your own story. He's not... Forge ahead. Basically what he's saying is, you are the protagonist of your own story. And that's true for every single person. And so he's he's giving us an inspiring speech. You know, that's that's all it really is. Still wanting Shui? Well, you're in luck. Because as of version... 2.1 there is an event in the game right here this event right here that you probably can do and when like you can probably do this early not entirely sure but what you get from completing this is a f you get to choose any of the four star characters for free but you have to unlock the quest which i don't know if there's like a quick they need to add a quick start thing for quests. I know it's like weird, right? You can do it early. I don't know. I don't actually know. Probably not. I don't think they've added quick start for Honkai quests, which kind of sucks. I maybe they'll add that someday. But not for now. Doesn't seem like it. Hold on. Piece of cake. Crank. I want her though. It's okay. Uh, just pull. If she's ever on a banner, pull for her. Because uh, getting four stars in this game is actually very consistent. Is that where I want to go? I guess we're going here. I don't know if this is where I want to be, but. Well, this is where I am now. <laughs> Lol. But yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure. If that event is... Oh, God. This guy seems like he wants me really badly. Alright, I get him. Shuei is so cute. Dude, she's so hot. I fucking love her. Oh, God. He turned into an IPC soldier. More like IPC... IPC these nuts. What? Joseph, the fuck? What did you just say? <laughs> How dare you? Dirty tricks. came together. 
Yo, double protection. Let's go. Uh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is bro doing? Um, kick. Little kick. Little kick never hurt anybody. Get this guy. I love that he's not good with emotions, makes her cuter. Oh, you're talking about Chui Minchi. Okay. I agree. I think that's really cute. I love her. She's so hot, too. Like, fuck, her design's amazing. Hold on. Piece of cake. Why do I see the world's biggest tail in front of me? That's so weird. Someone nearby you hear a strange disturbance. Tells you where I was making that noise. A little drunk. Sound seems to be coming from above you. However, looking up, you see nothing but an empty billboard. Looks like there are invisible dreams floating above you. Maybe it's just your imagine. Oh, I get it! Because he's imaginary! You can tell who was making these... The noise is huge, light-footed, and perhaps even a little drunk. Interesting. Uh, well, since we're back on adventuring, I guess I should put um, Shuei back on the team. Or Ching Chui, not Shuei. Uh, we were talking about Shuei, so my brain's on Shuei now. Um, dude, I hate Sigonians. Do you agree? Sigonians suck. Alright. Uh, I don't actually know how to get this to go hold on I'm cooking Oh, wait, I see. There's like an area up above I have to get to. I don't know what a Sigonian is, or however you spell it. Sigonian is what adventuring is. He's a, he's a Sigonian. And all Sigonians are liars and cheaters and scumbags. They're all terrible people, just like adventuring. That's why you can't trust them. That's what Sparkle told me. Everything Sparkle says is true. Never, She's never lied to me before. I think I know the answer. Would you? Who would you marry? All right. So I'll give you a few. Uh, I'll give you a few. So Sparkle is one. Silver Wolf is another. Fu Shuin is another. And Asta is the last one. I would marry all four of them at the same time. And you know, Payla would probably be fifth. Not gonna lie. Payla's just a really sweet girl. I'll try marrying on a chino. <clears throat> yeah, good luck with that, buddy. All I'm going to say is we have an HSR version of our Lachino coming out in the near future. So if you really want our Lachino, just pull for him instead. And yes, I am talking about bootleg. Sorry, boot hill. So if I if I if I if I do that and I put this one here, and then I do that and I put you here and then I do that. Now we're up on the ha ha. See, I knew I could get up above. I called it the whole time. Oh, there's a big dragon. And yeah, little wacky whack. Bootleg. <laughs> yeah, bootleg. That's his name, bootleg. Isn't it? Pretty sure it's bootleg. Alright, now watch this. It's gonna do a lot of damage. Ready? Ah, didn't do that much. But now, we get the Sparkle buff. Okay, so now Sparkle gives a buff right here. So then when we hit, boom. Big damage. Absolutely massive damage. <laughs> Bootleg. Watch your head. Okay, well, I'm just gonna do that, I guess. And then. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. Okay, we still did some good damage. We can do better, though. 
So we will action advance. Little little this silver wolf. This is double speed. What what are four characters I would marry? Or I could marry you could marry. Um I mean if you try hard enough anybody, but who would you want to marry is the is probably the question you're asking. I would assume that was the question you're intending to ask is who you would marry. Or maybe I'll take it off. Oh, you didn't even, I didn't even get anything that time, lol. <clears throat> uh, do I still have my crit rate boost from Sparkle, or is that a one turn only thing? Oh, you still, oh, I'm still getting it. Okay, well, in that case, I can kick. And then I can use four or two. That's fine, too. I still got 100k, even with only two stacks of my skill. So, Sparkle's broken. Uh, one of them is probably going to be Kater Katarina. Who's Katarina? Is that the... Which one's Katarina? <laughs> I feel like you tell me this every time and I forget. Is that the redhead? Wait, no, that's the redheaded chick of the Annihilation Gang, right? Yo, the snipe. <clears throat> Aha, I caught you. <laughs> Dr. Ratio. Hop. Jump high. High up in the sky. There's no power up like dancing. You know that you're my superstar. No one else can take me this far. Is that a bird song I hear somewhere? Bro is yapping. Little bird, yep. You know that you're my superstar. No one else can take me this far. The thing, the switch. Get ready for this. Oh, let's do the Odyssey. <clears throat> oh, yes. Forgot about the figurine, guys, bro. It's been so long. Joyous tour of Toy City <coughs> to an end. Hmm, makes me feel sad. Oh, Panacone isn't all bad, right? <laughs> I'll use this interesting experience as a talking point at the poker table. Yeah, so this entire area, like this is the the gambling like area in Panacone's dreamscape. And we have multiple exits as well. I don't know why there are multiple exits, but All oh, right, yeah, it's the the, <laughs> the world's lousiest soldier. Uh, honestly, it'll be a cafeteria. Tingyan, Silver Wolf, and Stella. Oh, ca sorry, cafeteria. What am I? I can't read. Katarina, Tingyan, Silver Wolf, Stella. That's a good. That's a good group of characters. What's up, bro? What's up, Josh? I didn't even notice you. I didn't even notice you. How are you? I apologize. Yeah, we can't talk to these guys because Adventuring, Adventuring's an idiot and he can't see birds, apparently. It's a pity you made it out of the sand pit alive. Sunday is just beyond this door. From my limited understanding, he's not so It's been like three hours almost. Handled. Are you prepared? Uh yeah. Who do you th take me for? <clears throat> Only I believe he's the one who should be prepared to face BRB. All right, see you in a bit. Tell me about your plan. <clears throat> I don't have a plan. I'll just play it by ear. Turn there are my only AC off now. It's getting chips when dealing with a little that. cold in here. <clears throat> or fear. Looks like sincerity isn't in your dictionary. <laughs> Am I not sincere enough? See, that's what I'm talking about. Bro's just like, bro's grimy. I hate him. I hate adventuring. That man's sister is dead. He won't be able to turn a blind eye, and that's fear. And I'll help him find the murderer. 
<coughs> he can't do it due to his status and position, but I can. And that's benefit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On talk, talk, yapping his ear off. He's incapable. <coughs> necessitating the delegation to someone from a rival faction. The IPC. Simple. Because that murderer could very well be a traitor hiding inside the family. <clears throat> um, do you mean the Galaxy Ranger whom you accused previously? Well, that was just an excuse, good doctor. Oh. There's something wrong with that woman. <clears throat> we need someone who can keep her in check. It's better to minimize the variables outside our control <clears throat> while we execute... I just realized adventure in short. Moreover, I need to know her identity. <clears throat> if I'm lucky. <laughs> I don't like this guy at all. <clears throat> and it's good to have more helpful friends when dealing with this matter. <sighs> but honestly, the murder case is like He's such a scumbag, life. dog. I believe my standpoint is a regret. <clears throat> Otherwise, why would Mr. Sunday arrange a private meeting with us? This isn't an interrogation. A secret negotiation. We'll see. Using Robin's death as a bargaining chip, bro. I'll win back my freedom and power. Bro is so cringe. I hate him, bro. He's Robin such a scumbag. A beautiful dream and create the grandest death. What the fuck? If the chance of winning is just beyond this door, even if that chance is close to zero, well. You can't win if you don't play, right? Bro needs to stop. Oh, the charming audacity to think that you, of all people, might emerge <laughs> victorious, dear gambler. Dude, Three ratios. Hey, Doctor Ratios, telling it how it is. Nothing. Ratios, telling it how it is, bro. Ratios, telling it how it is. I don't know why Ratio is even working with this man. Oh, there he is. It seems my puzzles are too <coughs> effortless for you, IPC ambassador. Sunday. And I see you put a lot of effort into Why does he have the Sampo smile? <coughs> However, this is no way to greet a guest. Well, this isn't an invitation, but a summoning. Before we speak, I need to test your character. Oh no. I imagine this knowledgeable <coughs> character friend of yours has been of great help. Yes. Certainly. You ought to know this better than I do. <laughs> He's just standing off to the side. He's he does not care. Faithfully fulfilled his duties. <coughs> <Has it? coughs> yes. The doctor has assured me of your noble character. <laughs> he considers you like himself. A virtuous person who can be trusted by the family. He doesn't turn around and say neither of you are. I've come to know you very well as a person, Mr. Aventurine. You're diligent, generous, and willing to cooperate. <laughs> oh yeah, he's so generous. Obstacles just to meet me gave me the reason to believe in your wisdom and courage. I don't. Why? There's one thing I must ask you. Ooh. That is. Ooh. You've used your wisdom at the wrong place to meet the wrong person and put yourself in a situation where you shouldn't be witnessing a tragedy that shouldn't have happened. Oh shit. Whoa, whoa, hold on. What do you mean a tragedy? Why Why are you still smiling? Why are you still smug? You don't look too well. <laughs> Am I making you anxious? If not, then it means I'm on your side. If I wasn't mistaken, you'd just made a serious accusation against the family. Oh? No, you weren't mistaken. For depravity is creeping in around you. <coughs> There's no need for us to be evasive. Let's talk about your sister. Your sister's talent is unrivaled in the world of show business. As you know, her voice has been out of tune since she returned to Penacony. What's more disheartening, <coughs> she can't sing anymore. Bro. Who could be responsible for this? Many suspect the culprit is among the outsiders, but I know. You hold a different opinion. 
Now your noble status has become a shackle. Why is he still grinning, bro? Why is he still grinning? <laughs> you're feeling anxious because you're out on a limb. But don't worry. I'm on your side. What is this play? I'm honored by your concern for me, Mr. Aventurine. So selfless and generous. I believe you wouldn't ask for anything in return, would you? Oh, the music stopped. Well, naturally, you wouldn't incur any loss from this. I, just I don't know if that was coincidence or what is mine. My liberty and the personal items under the family's custody, the bag of gift money, and I was just coincidence. Okay. Which the cornerstone is stored. That's right. Hold on, hold on. Is it venturing? No, he wouldn't be, would he? I was like, it kind of sounds like Sayu. Not Sayu, like Sayu from Genshin, but Sayu, uh, Alejandro Saab, the voice of Sino and Jing Yuen. But they wouldn't have him voice another character, would they? But he sounds so much like Sino. It's Sunday. Sunday, March 7th. I wonder if it means anything. Bro, Mar Sunday, March 7th. Okay, what's the next March 7th that's going to be on a Sunday? Let's let's go to Google Ma Google calendars, right? We're going to go to March. Okay, so March 7th. That's a, that's a Friday. March 7th, that's a Saturday. So the by so 2027 the next Sunday, March 7th, is going to be in 2027. So I think that means something big is going to happen in 2027 for Honkai. Eh, you know, I'm just saying on March 7th, 2027, something's, something's going to happen that day because it's on a Sunday. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Some conspiracy bullshit. <clears throat> I've heard it's a treasure but imagine. A strategic it wouldn't be the first time. A sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator, granting what? significant power, and every liquidation <clears throat> Wait, holds one. sacred stone that seals the preservation emanator? I thought an emanator was a person. How do you seal an emanator? <clears throat> For an object so precious, it probably comes at an even higher price than other. Do you know Sinon from Sao? I don't watch Sao. That show sucks. Well, I'm sure you're aware of the high so no. level of risk I'll be undertaking to bring the truth to light. I don't watch terrible anime, so no. When you are out and about. Okay. <laughs> Just okay. Your appearance. Your tie should be on the center line. Your shirt must not protrude from your vest. Your trouser creases should be perfectly straight, and always aligned with the tips of your shoes. What? Of course. But I don't, because it's not <coughs> appropriate to do so in public. You should make sure everything is presentable and in order before leaving the house. Hmm. I'm not the kind that takes risks. The cornerstone must be in the custody of the family. Okay. <coughs> no room for negotiation? <coughs> Please, don't let me turn you down twice. Why is he smiling, sure. dude? The gift money is good enough. <coughs> I don't know I how to feel right now. After all, <coughs> Why do I feel like he's hiding something? Without a bargaining chip. You compromised quicker than I thought. Unfortunately, it's a gambler that needs a bargaining chip, not a merchant. I True. Can give you your gift money. Big brain. Ooh. 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 He's out mind gaming him, bro. He's out mind gaming. He's out mind gaming. <laughs> oh, I thought we were about to get a cinematic. The fact that you can decisively <clears throat> forsake the box you asked for. What exactly is stored in it? <laughs> the little subtle. Faced soul. Please sear his tongue and palms with a hot iron. So that he will not be able to fabricate lies and make false vows. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what have you done? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Under the light of the harmony, all oh. is revealed. Oh, wait, he's an emanator of harmony. To shed <clears throat> light. And I'll ask you questions on their behalf. Next, 
You have 113 seconds. That's such a specific amount of time. I like how Ratio is just in the background like, yeah, this is all completely normal stuff that's happening right now. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, who's gonna gonna make an edit on her? Redo my edit on Arlecchino and make one of Katarina and one of you Sparkle for you? What do you... I don't know about this edit you speak of. I'll have to check that out. <clears throat> I don't know what edit you speak of. I'll have to go look at that. You can try. Share it. <laughs> Share it with we'll me. See if the Honda <clears throat> Question. Do you own a cornerstone? Yes. <coughs> oh shit. What a simple answer. Oh my god, it's Oz! It's Oz! Dude, it's Oz! Yo, Fischl! Fischl and Honkai Star Rail! They're doing another Getcha crossover, they're putting Fischl back in the game! Let's go! Woo! <laughs> Did you hand over the cornerstone to the family when you entered Panacone? <coughs> yes. Hmm. Does the cornerstone you handed over to the family belong to you? No. Yes. Oh. Is your cornerstone in this room right now? Yes. Is your memory free from any kind of tampering or deletion? Encompassing but not restricted to the techniques of the Garden of Recollection? Yes. Are you an Avgen from Sigonia? Oh. Yes. You even know about that? Oh, shit. Do the Avgins have any ability to read, tamper with, or manipulate one's own or another's mind? No. Does it matter? Do you love your family? More than yourself. Oh, 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 that's a good question. That's a good question. Today has new MOC real. I actually don't really do MOC. <laughs> My characters aren't built enough for MOC. I try and I just don't. I can't. I can't beat it. My second team, my 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 one. I have my mono quantum team and it works, but my second team is non-existent. Okay, I have no good DPS. I'm working on ratio, and he's like not great right now he's pretty fucking bad and then i'm working on i have sushong but she's like also not that well built so like yeah my moc progress just isn't there mom wants me to sleep so i'll head out soon all right jabbery that's unfortunate but it is what it is uh have yes. whenever you leave just let me know all the actions were killed in a massacre <coughs> am i right there's a chest no. in the room Oh. Are you your clan's sole survivor? Yes. <laughs> Perhaps. Do you hate and wish to destroy this world with your own hands? Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. I don't know. Ooh, oh. 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 <clears throat> okay. The final question. My mom wants. Oh yeah, I read that already. <clears throat> Can you swear that at this very moment, the Aventurine Stone is safe and sound in this box? Oz. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's just letting this happen. Of course. <laughs> Looks like we can get an answer. Open it, Mr. Aventurine. It's your last chance to defend your honor. Oh shit, bro. Oh shit, bro. <coughs> no, I don't like that smirk. Please. <laughs> Why is Ratio just letting this all happen? He's like, I don't fucking care. Oh, I don't like that face. Oh shit. Are these what you're looking for? <laughs> oh. Huh. So one of those is an adventuring stone apparently. System hours ago. Are you fucking another Oh, we keep going back in time, bro. <clears throat> 
Does this mean that you are willing to take the side of the family in this farce? What makes you think you can convince me? <laughs> oh shit. Oh. <coughs> I've heard you haven't enjoyed Mr. Aventurer's <coughs> company. I also understand that you're an avid learner who sees the pursuit of knowledge above all. In that case, you ought to realize that a competent scholar knows their position and wouldn't forsake more vital matters for the sake of petty pride. Oh shit, got him there. If you agree to assist the family, I'll share our research findings on the Stellaron. You must be there is a Stellaron in Panacone. Besides the family, <coughs> no other faction is willing to share such information. Hmm. It's a good bargain. Cut to the chase. What do you need from me? Ooh. <laughs> Cut to the chase. Cutching moment. <clears throat> I need Mr. Aventurine's comprehensive plan. <clears throat> Haven't you confiscated his cornerstone? You can't expect a featherless bird to take flight. Birds are born with no shackles. Then what fetters my fate? Wait a minute. Oh no, the song's about adventuring. <laughs> but I've also heard the ten elites in the strategic investment department have united, progressing together in the interests of the IPC. You'll have to speak more clearly than that. <laughs> I've heard the ten elites, the ten stone hearts. <clears throat> Okay. <clears throat> the cornerstone which Mr. Aventurine surrendered. Was it really his? You question whether he would entrust you with someone else's cornerstone. The ten stone hearts aren't as united as you think. Cornerstones are significantly more precious to them than their very own lives. Hmm. But you know that he's a crazed gambler. The more vocal he is about it, the more cautious I must be. <coughs> <coughs> I never imagined someone would share his way of thinking. Honestly, you should see a shrink. <laughs> oh, fuck. Bro's over here calling him out. <laughs> containing the cornerstone is unique, and only IPC senior staff and related members can access it. But I happen to be among them. Ooh. <laughs> I appreciate it. I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, I know, that's what I'm saying. Like, what is happening anymore, bro? I'm so confused. <laughs> Unfortunately, your guess is correct. Okay. Stone. I'm stoned. The golden stone. Klopo oh no. Its color and glow are Wait. similar to that Klopoth. of Klopoth's Oh body. yeah, Klopoth is the uh, eon of preservation. <clears throat> this True. This is the very ruse he intends to use to fool you. He won't reveal to you that the ten stone hearts chisel their own will into the cornerstones, oh. granting them an unparalleled radiance. Okay. And this golden statue is mm. also known as Topaz. Topaz! Adventurine. Ooh! And it to Topaz. Topaz, my girl! Wait, why does he have Topaz's stone? So, do you wish to confront him? Why does he have Topaz's stone? Topaz, Topaz mentioned. With the stupid artifacts I got, I have 57 crit rate, 130 crit damage. This is what my Arlachina stats should look like. That's not great. Uh, yeah, I mean, it is what it, you'll get there. Topaz. Topaz mentioned. Pause everything. Not at the moment. <clears throat> Bay mentioned. I'm more interested to know the location of his cornerstone. I love Topaz. Topaz is the great. safest place <clears throat> somewhere you'd never think of. Because he never intended to hide it. In fact... 
That cornerstone has been in your hands from the very beginning. Oh. Oh, so that's the adventuring, and the golden Let's one see. is the topaz. This bag, mixing a cornerstone, more precious than life itself, <clears throat> with a bunch of worthless jewels, disguised as a gift of money waiting to be confiscated, is indeed in line with Mr. Aventurine's style. Then he makes up some trivial excuse, downplaying the matter, and requests the gift money. This is a gamble, one he's all too familiar with. Betting on your single misstep, leading to a total loss. Oh shit. Called him the fuck out. I am grateful. <laughs> Called him out, bro. The family will surely reward a righteous person like you. <laughs> Actually called the fuck out. Uh, I'm gonna do her new set when that comes out. That's true, that's true. I'm trying to get more witch flame. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, her new set's gonna come out. One day I'll get my 75 crit rate and 170 to 200 crit damage. That's going to be a, a task, that's for sure. Uh, I believe she's going to scale. I mean, because she's a DPS. All DPS that they release scale with either crit rate or crit damage. Uh, I'm not sure which one she scales with, and her weapon has the other. So that'll help in reaching that ratio. Doctor ratio. <laughs> As for the villain, <laughs> I hope he retreats in humiliation. Oh yeah. It's all thanks to your friend with a keen eye that I could add a blot of utter failure to your storied career. <sighs> Ratio, you rat. <laughs> you deserve it. You deserve it. Finally shown your true colors, huh? <coughs> oh, and just to remind you, you currently only have 17 system hours left to live. Whoa. Treasure your remaining time. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean you what what do you mean wait, left to live? Are you gonna kill him? What the um, You might as well explain yourself a little more clearly. What I performed on you just now was the harmonies consecration. You were to show allegiance beneath the illumination of their grace. Yet you acted willfully. Uttering nothing but falsehoods, Ooh. transforming the consecration into a trial. Ooh. Oh shit! Oh, so because he lied, the like harmony, whatever consecration or whatever, decided that he doesn't deserve. The they basically like gave him the death penalty. That's so fucked up. Wait. She's gonna scale with crit damage. Okay, okay, okay. I mean, she's gonna, yeah, she's gonna ascend with crit damage. Dude, that's so fucked up. Is this what the harmony represents? <laughs> but is it built upon constraint and coercion? <laughs> you misunderstand, Mr. Aventurine. Punishment is meant for the irreverent. But I have seen your resilient spirit, and thus I offer you the possibility of a new beginning. Okay. Throughout these 17 system hours, you will be unable to escape the dreamscape or contact any of your companions. Oh. You only have two paths before you, and it all depends on whether you can complete my test within the time limit. Oh shit, bro. Should you succeed, you will be able to coalesce into the harmony and be with your family. Oh. If you fail, you will suffer the wrath of the eternal centurion and fall into an abyss of doom. So his options are die or die. <laughs> oh, sounds like I'm going to end up the same either way. The sweat, the sweat, the sweat. To help me uncover the evil hidden in the family from an external perspective. I will purge the evil from the inside. And bring the real culprits to justice within 17 system hours. Bro, okay, so Sunday's not as good as we thought he was, apparently. Because he just did some fucked up shit. And, like, don't get me wrong, adventuring definitely deserves it. But, like, still, that's a little messed up, bro. When the time comes, compare your findings with mine. If both our findings align, or if you can provide me more insights, then they will truly be able to grant you mercy. 
Okay. Shameless hypocrites. Oh my god. You took everything from me and still demand the truth. I don't even that know who you are. <laughs> no, that's fair. Carnival reeks with a stench of cash. Nothing is achievable without it. No, it's completely fair. You're just unbased. This is meant to be an act of personal virtue. Oh my god. Dude. Your bag is over there. <laughs> Do as you please. I believe you can trade this bag of worthless jewels for everything <clears throat> you need. That's what gamblers excel at, isn't it? <laughs> Off you go, Mr. Aventurine. You are free. I will wait here for your good news. Oh, the way the music ended right as he said that? No, that was not me. That was definitely not intentional. But that was so perfect. Oh, and the music... And, oh, and it started up again when the bird got zoomed in on? No, that was definitely not intentional, but that was so good. Execution. <clears throat> Why would I do that, Mr. Aventurine? I'm just wondering what a passerby who stumbled upon a scene of a murder could have found out. That's all. He's doing it for his sister, bro. He just wants to know. He wants way, to know the truth. Before you go, <clears throat> I have a personal question. What is it now? You. You. Do you truly wish to bring about the destruction of this world? Whoa, are you saying he's an emanator of destruction? <clears throat> Oh. It's just a necklace. It's neither food nor water. Who can survive without it? That's really pretty. Look at the background. That's like super pretty. Hold on. Is this. This is definitely adventuring its past, right? I can't live without you, little brother. Promise me not to look <laughs> for those catacombs again. Okay? Oh. Yeah, it's definitely adventuring. Kakavasha. What happened exactly? Tell me. I made a bet with them. The two birds in the <coughs> desert and me. Who will die first? I won. They suspected me of cheating, but I didn't. <coughs> I won fair and square. <laughs> of course. Of course you'd win. You've always been a <coughs> child. Diaka Triclops must be watching over you. But that's no reason to push your luck by going up against those those bloodthirsty, cruel catechins. Have you forgotten how mom and dad Look, this is just a necklace. But Kakavasha, you are my only family. Huh. <coughs> you'd be happy because mom left you this necklace <clears throat> there'll be no next time it is important but not as important as you my dearest brother i, I <clears throat> don't blame you but i feel kind of bad holy shit <clears throat> granted us a chance <clears throat> and that's your good luck Kakavasha. your good luck is the most precious wealth we all Abjin have you're a child blessed by Gaiathra Triclops and can lead Kakavasha. the clan to happiness <clears throat> so always did you play the cat event no is it over I, I wanted to play it before it ended did it end already or is it still going on From what I heard, it, sound, it was actually super lame. Listen to me. Like, way worse than I it was advertised. Because I wanted to play, it looked cute. But I heard it was, like, super lame. Okay. <clears throat> we'll swear to Gaiathra Triclops to protect this wealth. <laughs> Three days, okay. I'll play it. I don't want to, I'm not going to play it on stream. Because I really don't want to. I'm just going to play it off stream. <clears throat> Why did 
did she not protect Dad when he was swept away by the quicksand? Well, I might play it on stream. I don't know. I have the next two days off, so maybe we'll play it tomorrow or something. And where was Gyathra Triclops when Mom was shivering in our arms? Mom was still pleading for Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness under her breath. Until the moment she closed her eyes. Sister, everyone praises me for being smart, <coughs> but I don't get it. If every rain pour was Gyathra Triclops' forgiveness and grace... How bad are our <coughs> sins? So much so that we were born in this world of death? <sighs> Damn. That's... That's deep. Um, excuse me. I can't seem to find any information on this artist in the Iris family archives. The photo you provided also doesn't show any matches. <clears throat> what? Hmm, just as I thought. I'd like to ask, what kind of traces do people leave when they enter a dream? It's cute, not much other than that, than let than petting cats. Well, I like petting cats, so you know. <laughs> Are you referring to the records when you enter <coughs> will monitor physiological indicators such as heart rate, blood oxygen levels, and body temperature in real time. This data will be included in statistics and handed over to the family for the screening of any data anomalies. Immediate action will be taken once any illegal behavior is detected. Oh. Um. Is it possible to access these records? I apologize. <coughs> the hotel does not have access. This information is managed by the Bloodhound family. Oh. You can gain access if there's a problem. Looks like nothing can be found here. At so we should go talk to Gallagher. For next. <coughs> we can ask the Bloodhound family for information. Thank you for your assistance, Miss Amy. <coughs> by the way, is <coughs> Robin doing fine? We are looking forward to her performance. Fine? What does that mean? Is there something wrong with Miss Robin? The preparations for the Charmony Festival have been proceeding smoothly. So, I guess things are pretty good. I believe she will be able to put on a spectacular show for all of you. Hmm, I'm sure. Sure enough, no one knows about Miss Robin. I'm mm. not surprised. March is so cuddleable. Agreed. <laughs> I love March. She's great. I'd cuddle with her. Firefly is truly mysterious. There's no information on her in the hotel system. Even if she's a stowaway, she should have a disguised identity after entering the planet. She's also in the running for the legacy. How is she going to sneak into the dreamscape unnoticed? Is there any other way to enter a dream? Besides the hotel room's dream pool? Be careful of what you say. Sparkle might hear you. Now, hold on. Sparkle is the type of woman to not get jealous, okay? She's going to hear that I like to cuddle with other women, right? And she's going to take that, and she's going to be like, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show up right in front of you, right in front of them, right in front of her. I'm going to I'm gonna appear right there when you all are hanging out and appear there, and I'm going to pull you away, and I'm going to start, like, sucking you off right in front of her and make her jealous that's what sparkle would do i just said that out loud and i'm not taking it back <laughs> is there any way to enter dreams behind besides the hotel room's dream pool well there's the garden of recollection and there's the stellaron hunters the memo keepers have <coughs> abilities that are difficult for normal people to comprehend in the memory zone of Man Black speaking Black, facts. <laughs> a fact proven to us by Black Swan. And it wouldn't even just be to make the other girl jealous, though that would be a big part of it. It's just because she simply wants to prove a point. That point, point, that point being that no matter what you do with other women, it won't change the fact that you are hers and only hers, and that she can, and that she still has dominion over your life as well as your body <laughs> the hacker girl from 
the Stellaron Hunters used My wife? extraordinary means to unlock the Dreamscape Hotel's seal. Sorry, Stel S Silverwolf mentioned? Witnessed by her, it is likely that they are behind Miss Firefly's case. Interesting. <clears throat> the Garden of Recollection and the Stellaron Hunters. Both are possible, <clears throat> but what about the IPC? Since they want Pentacony all for themselves, they're bound to have a plan. <clears throat> Who are you guys? What? Nervous guest. Oh my god. It's the IPC. <clears throat> <laughs> Why is the music all silly? Topaz? Are we gonna see Topaz? <laughs> hey, check it out. That place. Could it be the I knew it. Yeah, Topaz. <laughs> are you sick? Why do we love crazy women? Because crazy women are hot. <laughs> there she is. Yes. Yes! Yes! Queen! Wife! Queen! Ah! 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 Topaz! Wife! Yes! Queen! Queen! See, I told y'all that she was coming to Pentacony. Y'all didn't fucking believe me. You were like, no, they didn't. She didn't say she was coming to Pentacony. That did. That did, that did, that did. No, I was right. Guess who was right? Me, as always. I'm always right. Okay, get it. Let's fucking go, dude. I would so mad. No, okay. I love Topaz so much. She's so pretty. She's so fucking hot, and. Yes, she has a wonderful personality. She's so sweet. I love her. But I don't know if I would marry her because being an IPC employee means that she has to do some really bad things. Like, she doesn't want to do them, and she tries to avoid them, but she still has to do things that, like, are bad, you know? Like, and and I we'd have to be the one that she's, like... I mean, I guess we'd have to be the one that she's, like, confiding with and being like, man, they're making me do all these terrible things, and I don't want to do them, but I feel like I have to, or am I going to lose my job? And, you know, I would just be telling her, quit your fucking job. Please, just quit. Please, quit and come with me, and we'll trailblaze the world together. We don't need, you don't need your IPC job. You have me. That would be me. Like, I would just be, I would just be that, that would just be me. But, but this is, like, her dream job, you know? Like, she, she loves her job, you know? And I'm not going to take that away from her, but I, but, and, it was it's just hard to like you know it it would be it would be a lot that's for sure i don't know if i'd say it would be like too much because i'm definitely the type of guy who's willing to support my you know beloved regardless of the choices they make and the things they have to do but god it would be so hard. it I, I would constantly constantly be telling her to quit the ipc she doesn't need the job and just come trailblaze with me and we can just be trailblazers together. You know, that would just like, I would just spend like half of our time together would be her being like, man, I really hate doing these things that I have to do in my job. And I'll just be like, quit, please, please quit. Just quit your job and you can come with me and we can, we can, we can live on the express together. And I'm sure, I mean, the crew, I'm sure they, they, they love you. So they would love to have you on the board. You can stay in my room with me because we're married and all that stuff. And you can just like, we can just, we can just be on the express together and trailblaze the world and, and be nameless together. Like that would, that would be like, me constantly when she's when we're with each other <laughs> no but anyway um uh while we stare lovingly into uh into topaz's eyes which we actually can't do because they're really far away but 
I have to use the restroom, so I will be back. Um, I'll be quick, don't worry.
Okay, hello. Hope I didn't scare anybody. I'm back. Gamers, I think Twitter is listening. <laughs> I think Twitter might be uh, might be listening to everything. Twitter knows shit, bro. Hi, welcome back. Okay, so hold on a minute. So hold on a minute, right? Okay, so... I was on Twitter, or sorry, I was when I was in the restroom, I got on Twitter, because that's what I usually do, uh, get on my phone, just kind of go on Twitter, and I saw a post, so I need to go here, hold on, I saw a post on here, and this shit threw me off, so let me just um, pull it up real quick, and I'm going to do this, so, I swear Twitter's listening right now, bro, I swear, <laughs> you woke me up, thank you, uh, I swear Twitter's listening, God, this is Star Wars anything bot. You're in court for being cringe. Sunday is your lawyer. Are you winning? How do they know? How does it know? How does it know, bro? How does it know? What the fuck? How do they know? Twitter, why are you recommend? This was in my feed. What? How does Twitter know, bro? What the fuck, bro? I don't get it. How does Twitter know, man? How do they know? How do they know? Uh... Oh, that's too funny. Okay. Yeah. I'm also getting tired, apparently. I've also fallen asleep. <clears throat> and doing some shady shit, bro. That is it. No, I was just hanging out with Sunday. <clears throat> well, not adventuring. I forgot you were friends with him. <clears throat> oh? Queen? It's fine. Do as I ask. And try to avoid any conflicts with the family. Report to me before taking any action. Mm. Yes. All right. Oh, she looks so stressed. What's wrong, girl? What's wrong, Queen? You As okay? You see, <coughs> isn't very popular here in Penacone. Yeah, I wonder why. The from the family is a mere facade. The former <coughs> frontier prison has turned around and cuffed its shackles on the ICC stuff now. Yeah, it's almost like adventuring's an <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Carries an invitation <coughs> is allowed to attend the banquet. And Why? Like us, we can only sit around in the reality hotel, unauthorized to even enter dreams. Mm. No wonder Aventurine's scrambling to partner up with someone. The IPC can't back him up in the dreamscape. <sighs> His situation isn't optimistic, I hear. You're all helping to investigate some dirt on the family, are you not? Let me know if you need anything outside the dreamscape. The IPC always treats its partners well. Thank you, Miss Topaz. We're on our way to the Hounds today. You're so much fun to talk with. Thank you. Perhaps I appreciate that. Dealings with them. <laughs> yep. Mm. Us right now. Why? Why not go and talk to them? It'll take the spotlight off me. Being constantly stared at is really uncomfortable. Okay, but like. You're so pretty, it's hard not to stare at you, baby girl. Was that good riz? Was that top tier riz level right there? How does it feel to be in business with Aventurine? I bet you're not used to it. Not as great as being in business with you, baby girl. <laughs> baby girl? Yeah, you gotta add the baby girl in there. Ball or nothing is his mantra. He's always cozying up to his clients while egging them on to undertake some dangerous assignment with him. But everyone has their merits, so I won't comment further. <laughs> you gotta throw the baby girl in there, bro. I'll make her blush, prob. Hey, let's go. W Riz. Basically, never lost a gamble. Which is why, on the issue of retaking Penna County, I'm watching with keen interest. I'd say it works only when all parties' interests are aligned. Of course. It's business after all. What's important is where you're seated at the table. You got a seat right here in my lap that you can sit at. And as for the two cases, apologies, but I don't have much info on them either. All I can do is ask you to keep digging for more details. It's just me. Or is having a lot of trust issues when talking to people online normal? No, it's pretty normal. 
Everyone online's a stranger, so it's hard to tell who you can actually trust. I'd love to sleep on Topaz or Stella's lap. Same. Topaz got some nice thighs. But, you know, we don't, you know... <laughs> I mean, standing next to her, it's like, oh, hers are a bit thicker. But, hey, you know, all thigh is good thigh. All right? That's all I got to say. All thigh is good thigh. Now, Sylvie... Whew, that girl's got some thighs. Look at they're almost as thick as topazes. Like what? Have you decided what you want to be in your dream? <laughs> Topaz hips are a must. As I said before, goddamn Sylvie. So true. We're carrying out our captain's You're so hot, bro. What do you want? <laughs> what do you want, mate? We made a mistake last what the fuck are you doing here, buddy? What the fuck are you doing over here, bud? We don't got time. Ensuring that she stays put at the Reverie Hotel during her time on Panacom. We've got the right one this time. What? So that's it. They were the pair who were after Firefly at the time. Wait. Did they think Firefly was Topaz? Me again. <laughs> Wait, you're that fucking stowaways, buddy. Back for more trouble? We're not afraid of you this time. <laughs> Back for more trouble, buddy. We're not afraid of you this time. Not afraid of you this time, bruv. We're going to get you. <laughs> you're that misleg day, true. Hey, she may be a gamer, but she definitely works those legs. Though, is it because she goes to the gym or because she crushes her enemies between her thighs? God, I wish that were me. So you know each other. Uh, why do you keep running into people you've beaten up before? <laughs> uh, when's our lunch break? <laughs> got business with your captain. Where he at? When I first called Silver Wolf Sylvie. Well, I called her Wolfie for a while, but then I remembered there's a VTuber named Wolfie Chew, and I was like, wait, I can't call her Wolfie, because I was going to think I'm talking about Wolfie Chew. So I started calling her, um, and then I heard you call her Sylvie, so I've been calling her Sylvie since then. Yeah, no, I never heard anyone call her that before I heard you call that. I've been calling her that since then, though. Ever since you told me that. I like it. It's a lot better. It it, 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 it causes less confusion than Wolfie. Because Wolfie... There are actually two creators named Wolfie. There's a VTuber who's also like a storyteller and I like a drawer named Wolfie. And then there's a Pokemon uh, like content creator who's like a speedrunner. Not speedrunner, but like a, a top Pokemon player. Uh, who's also named Wolfie. He's like a top um, Nuzlocke player as well, I think. I don't know who the specifics, but he does a lot of like Pokemon challenges and stuff. And he's like a really, really, really famous Pokemon player because he's like one of the best in the world. Also named Wolfie. So when I say Wolfie, people get confused. So saying Sylvie works better. Sylvie is the best. I love Sylvie. Well, it's been a nickname, and I agree. I like Sylvie more than Wolfie. The more I've been using it, I've been getting used to it. And I actually like it more than Wolfie. The only, the only thing you could confuse Sylvie with is, uh, if you know Marvel, uh, in the TV series Loki, um, there's a character named Sylvie in that, and she's like the main female protagonist of that. Um, but other than that, I don't know any other characters. Like I don't know of anyone else named Sylvie. So, saying Sylvie is less confusing than saying Wolfie. Especially because there's not a lot of overlap between people who like the MCU and people who like, like, Hoyoverse games. But with Wolfie, you'll probably find more people who like Pokemon or um, VTubers because a lot of Genshin players like VTubers. And also they're both, you know, Pokemon is video games. So, yeah. So, yeah. And also I think Wolfie plays or has played Genshin now. So it's like, yeah. Wolfie Chew. The VTuber. Hey! The security officer instructed everyone to shut their traps. 
before he returned from Dream's Edge. What murder? You'd better stop spouting nonsense. Wait, did I mention murder? Oh. <laughs> That's right. We have nothing to report. Yeah, we got nothing to report, mate. We got nothing to report, bruv. But they did at least tell us that the captain You like talking to me? I enjoy talking to all my uh, viewers. Uh, why don't we just look for the security officer then? It's fun to have people to chat with. The one she mentioned, right? We have nothing to report. Please leave. We got that to report, bruv. Please leave us alone. Before we call the fuzz. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'll have to go to the loo. Please continue to investigate the case. All I can do is. Topaz, please marry me. World. I look forward to hearing your progress. Topaz. Next time we see each other, we're going to be doing a lot of uh, investigating, but uh, <laughs> of different things. Wink, wink. I'm better than being alone. Yep. I agree. It's always nice to have someone in chat who's like, you know, sticking around. And I'm talking to them, even if it's just one person. Like, I appreciate it. You know, I appreciate that out of all the creators you could be watching right now and interacting with and, you know, enjoying being around you choose me that that means a lot to me you know it means a lot it really does uh what am i doing yeah yeah i'm going who so thank you i really do appreciate it jabri <laughs> proposal true i'm over here proposing to topaz also i was i was i was making a sex reference by the case as well we go investigating each other <laughs> we see it wink wink nudge nudge gallagher <laughs> where could he be Okay, you know where Gallagher is? Okay, hold on. I totally forgot. Okay, uh, chat. Chat. I'm gonna leak some, I'm gonna leak some DMs. I'm gonna leak some DMs. Not really. But. I just remembered something. I told one of my friends. As a joke. But I actually kind of meant it because I thought it would be kind of funny. I don't think it was DMs. I think it was actually in here. Um, let's see. Where was it? Was it up here? <laughs> yeah, right here, right here, right here. Alright, so, shit. I have a friend. Why does everything keep falling? Oh, it's because I have my room's a mess and I need to clean it. Hold on. Give me a sec. Just making some, clearing off some space. From my mouth, mouse, mouth, from my mouth, from mouse, my, my computer mouse. Okay. Uh, that should be better. Okay, that's good. All right. So, let me turn, go to this, and we'll do this. And then, so right here, I was talking with one of my friends in one of these servers I'm in, and he's been trying to get Acheron. So he's at 70, he was at 75 pity. He was like, he's uncomfortably close. And I'm like, she'll come home in the next single pull trust. And he, it, she did not come home. And I said, I guess you're just not built like me. I could do one 10 pull right now and get her, even though I have no pity. And he was like, ah, oh, that better not happen. And I was like, I'm going to do it for shits and giggles. And he told me to do it. And I told him I'd do it on stream. So now that I'm doing it on stream, hold on. Now that I'm doing it on stream, I'm going to let him know. Yes. I'm... I can type. Do it, do it. Don't get bad habits. Clean my room. No, I, look, my my room cleaning like habits are already so fucking terrible. If you saw my room, you would hate it. It would it would actually like just like your eyes would be your your you would have you'd want to rip your eyes out of their socket. <laughs> I wanna I wanna see his response. I need him to know. I hope you don't break your friend's heart. 
Don't make me get your mom. Dude, my mom is always telling me. She's like, you need to clean your room more. And I'm like, yeah, I know. I'm fucking stupid. Hmm. Also, check out my uh, my Discord status. I think I have the best Discord status in the mall. Farazan, better than Shinyan. So true. So real. I think I was having a lot of trouble deciding, do I like Farzan more or do I like Lynette more? They're both so cute, but like, I think, I think I'm leaning more towards Farzan. You switch PFPs mad fast. I do, dude. I switch my profile pictures like all the fucking time. I cannot for the life of me keep a profile picture. I switch mine every two hours. I switch mine probably like once or twice a week. <laughs> uh, I've been I've been trying to keep it more consistent. Wait, no, let's actually not leak DMs. That would be kind of embarrassing. All right, well he's not responding. Uh, uh what is it? Three days. Three days. Ish. Let's see. Um, so is he going to watch? That's the thing. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to go leak. I'm going to leak DMs. Wait, wait. I don't think we're talking about anything weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop bullying your friend. I like it. It's fun. It's fun to bully my friends. No, but in all seriousness, look at how many fucking jades I have. If we go here and we go to the stellar trade, 74 jades. Plus 33. So that's uh, 4 plus 3 is 7. Then 70 plus 3. I have 104 a hundred seven wishes. A hundred seven wishes. A hundred seven pulls. And you know who they're all going to? Robin. Every single one of those wishes. Unless I get her early, which is very possible. I have. I love Robin. I got that dedication, you know? Two days before Jing Liu. Oh, yeah, there's a Jing Liu rerun happening. I forgot about that. Why are they rerunning Jing Liu? Oh, whatever. They're rerunning Jing Liu. Robin Q, dude, I love her. Oh, she, he's here. He's here. He's here. All right. It's about to happen. You ready? 110 pull. Boom. Okay. Well, if I don't get her, I want Bronya. That's fair. Bronya is really good. Um, she's kind of fallen off a bit because of Sparkle, but it is what it is. Okay, I did not get her. So, congratulations, Artemis. Your heart's not getting broken. Maybe we'll get a Gallagher. It'll be worth it. That was so not worth it. I got scammed. I got completely scammed. Oh well. Yeah, it happens, you know? Congratulations, Artemis. You didn't you didn't have your heart broken in a single ten pull. Yay! Now I have more pity for Robin. Let's go. It was all worth it. It works out in the end. It all works out in the end. Everything. Is gonna be all right. All right, let's get back to the story now. Uh, let me just close this. I don't need Discord open anymore. All right, <clears throat> meeting up with my boy. Oh, Apologies. see you later, my Artemis. You just out, up and out. Up <laughs> Fair enough. No unauthorized personnel allowed. You're not an authorized personnel, loser. Why does that sound like a Transformers character? Uh. <clears throat> I've seen you before. The, the gray haired one. How much trouble have you stirred up exactly on Penacony? 
It's a me, a Clocky. Uh, you think you look alike? I look exactly like Clocky. Whoa, whoa, is my text yellow? Hold on, hold on, hold on. How about a clockwork hey, trick? Are you for real? I actually am. It was you the last time yelling about some clockwork friendship while beating me up with that silver-haired girl. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we've been we've been out here killing people. I'm not letting you get by this time. Please leave, or I'll have to get on my knees and beg you. <laughs> huh? What kind of heinous crime have you committed now? <laughs> uh, nothing important. We have documents authorized ah! by the family that would aid your investigation. Turn from my glasses case. If it wouldn't trouble you, could we see this, Mr. Gallagher? Who Glasses exactly ring. is this Gallagher you keep talking about? Gallag there have been a few what? people mentioning this name. Even the one with the gray hair. What? Uh, he didn't send you all here? It was the security officer who dispatched us. That's all I can divulge. What? Uh, he'll do. He's the one we've been looking for. <sighs> Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no <laughs> oh, one's allowed okay. through. Just in case I don't, Everyone, I have a great rest of your stream and be safe. Probably gonna go. All right, <laughs> sounds good, Jabbery. If you don't get back, right? thanks for sticking in the stream with me all this time. Really um, I appreciate it, and I hope you get Let's some good sleep. And tomorrow, Another tomorrow, day. you better watch the rest of the stream. You better watch the rest of the vod. <laughs> And watch my reaction to Genshin um, 4.6 um, live stream. Can you perform it again? That... I might turn that into a video. We'll see. <laughs> but I can't abuse it for evil doings. Damn, she really wants me to... Am I actually going to clockwork this guy again? Poor guy. This guy's just like... This guy's getting like... Absolutely like... Abused. <laughs> Alright. This is a, this sounds like a sp situation for Sparkle. Because she's a gremlin. Sorry. No can do. The boss said that since it's a matter of the family's reputation, no one's allowed through. Everyone, please leave. There's really no need for us to make things difficult for each other, right? <laughs> Good move. Thank you for your co-op. Sorry. No, everyone. Mm hmm. Sorry. Right now he's calm. <laughs> I'll make him sad. <laughs> you lot. Sorry, but human lives and the family's reputation are at stake. It is imperative we know everything about the case. <laughs> you, you lot insist on doing this. <laughs> no, I meant to say. Do I really have to get down on my knees and grovel? <laughs> If you don't mind. <laughs> you were the type who would kick someone when they were down. <laughs> if that's the case, I'll just have to acquiesce to everyone's wishes. Lower my esteemed head and plead with everyone. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. Uh, no need. Standing is just fine. You need to do that. <laughs> Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. <laughs> Way to comfort him. I got you. I got you. I got you, bro. You punk. Why can't you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> the security officer's word is absolute law. I told you that place up ahead is off limits. <laughs> to wind, to rain. 
Even if the Dream Master was here, they aren't getting in. <laughs> hmm. Wait, even the Dream Master? Did you not hear me? Even if the Dream Master was here. <laughs> well, we'll talk about this if the Dream Master is ever here. And it's just a metaphor. A metaphor. Don't you get it? <laughs> oh, I'm warning you. If you keep insisting, <laughs> I'm going to have to show you my true power. Um, uh, he looks kind of angry now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Never learn. Oh, great. Even if there is no meaning to death and defiance, why do you not understand? Sweet dreams, troop. Charge! Teach them a lesson they won't forget. <laughs> Humans never learn. Oh, great. Even if Klipoth were here, they wouldn't be able to protect him. Ah. Uh, no, no, no. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight him. Constructing dreams is something dreams are supposed to be. You. The security Dang it. Word. That's just a metaphor. <laughs> oh, I'm warning you. Um. <sighs> Humans will. Oh, great. <laughs> Dang it. I should have. I should have just made him happy, but I wanted to see all the options. <laughs> Feeling stiffy, or I'm always feeling stiffy when Sparkle's on screen. Ooh, oh, I got lucky. That's unfortunate. Can I have fun this time? All right, do that. Time for a bug. Okay, I stopped getting lucky. <clears throat> I'm just too good at the game. Kick. Kick. Bump. Oh. <laughs> My destined to relive this outcome. <laughs> Looks like you and I have been plunged into a cycle of despair. <laughs> oh, what's he talking about? <laughs> However, this time I will sever the chains of tragedy. <laughs> the only way any of you will pass is over my dead body. He doesn't have to be so melodramatic, does he? <laughs> Looks like he still doesn't want to divulge anything. <laughs> All that. All right, make him calm again. <laughs> I can't anymore, okay. Oh, well, guess we're making him happy. <laughs> uh, let me see what time it is now. Whoa, it's this time already. It's <laughs> this time, wow. Time to clock out, and no one's gonna stop me. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it's this time. Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> this clockwork trick of yours. <laughs> it's kinda dangerous. Don't worry about it, it's fine. At least he won't be getting in our way again. Let's go find that Gallagher and ask him the intricacies of the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was wondering what all the commotion was. Huh. Oh, it's you guys. <laughs> Welcome. Since you made it here, what can I do for you? Hello, Mr. Gallagher, sir. Judging from your tone, it sounds like you were expecting us. Mr. Gallagher, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Miss Himako, you're too polite. There's no need to call me sir. Oh, there is. Mr. Gallagher, you even know my name. Hmm. Of course I do. Mm. You folks are from the legendary Astral mm -hmm, Express mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and honorable guests of the Watchmaker. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I had an encounter with this lady in the Golden Hour. I remember that little silver-haired girl was there, too. I'm sorry for what happened to that kid. 
It's exactly what the family has ordered us to investigate. This is also the reason why we've come to visit you, Mr. Gallagher. <clears throat> the Express can't just overlook the death of that child. So we've decided to help the family get to the bottom of it, in the hopes of getting justice for her. <sighs> the nameless involved with the family. What an unpredictable twist of fate. <clears throat> Not really. <laughs> Why? What's wrong with the family? Uh, it's nothing. On Penicone, everyone loves the family. Mm. No matter how much one resists the beautiful dream, when the time comes, they too will find it hard to let go. Who wants to leave a warm nest? Just idiots, little kids, and inebriated fools. Okay. Mr. Gallagher <coughs> seems to be getting at something. Yeah. Oh, you got it wrong. I'm not. Huh? You want to discuss the case? Sure. Come with me. Oh. This is not a good place to talk. Let's go elsewhere. Hmm. Mm. Sus. Even after that Ooh. chilling tragedy, Ooh. this dream is well. still running effortlessly. <clears throat> other than the family of the Harmony, it's hard to imagine any other power in the universe that could sustain a building of such magnitude. Why? The family itself <clears throat> is a huge, perfect building. Like a living idol. Each Dude. member of the family. The HI3 flashback flashbacks are real. The divine puzzle revolving around a singular core and a shared ideal. Under their command, they loyally fulfill their roles, offering themselves while also receiving sustenance in return. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Interesting analogy. Perhaps that's why Penacone's beautiful dream has persisted for so long. Mm -hmm. But the human body has its limits. And so does the divines. Mm -hmm. That doesn't sound like the kind of comment a galaxy ranger would make. True. Just pointing out the facts. Mr. Yang will definitely have a better sense of what's going on than I do. Why do you say that, Miss Acheron? Hmm. The beautiful dream is crumbling. But not because of a particular eon, a particular faction, or a particular visitor. Its collapse stems from a certain inevitability of human nature. Hmm. The family refuses to acknowledge this, and it has ultimately backfired and become a catalyst. Okay. <clears throat> As people immerse their souls in the dreamscape, where consequences and pain cease to exist, yeah. and only ease and pleasure prevail, yep. they draw closer and closer <clears throat> to the closest. No. Regardless of the perceived bliss, death blooms as the inevitable conclusion. Mm. Also, this necrosis will diffuse and spread. One piece of the puzzle's mutation will eventually cause the entire building to shake, break, and crumble. In the end, the dreams that people built in the name of freedom became the cage that imprisoned them. I'm sure you've gained a lot from this trip, Miss Acheron. Are you willing to share your findings with me? Mm. Of course. That's if I remember. Hmm. He says this as her hand gently rests on the hilt of her sword, and then quickly lets go in the blink of an eye. Hmm. Don't mind me. It's just a habit. Owing to events in the past, I've become easily forgetful. It's only when the sword is unsheathed that those hazy memories start to become clearer. Take your time. Hmm. That should do it. I vividly remember everything that occurred on Penacone. Ask away. Huh. It was so interesting. Oh. Regarding the moment of daybreak. The moment of daybreak. <clears throat> I've heard that's where the Dawn Factory, which processes the foundation of the dreamscape, is located. Behind the dreamscape song and dance stand many imagination factories. <clears throat> Workers create all kinds of whimsical works day in and day out in their dreams. <clears throat> then they return to reality and sleep on a narrow bed in a room. A far cry from luxury. They say it will suffice. Experiencing the bizarre and motley dreamscape is the best reward. There I encountered a young woman who had just come of age. 
the perfect time to indulge in beautiful dreams. Her greatest wish was to one day move to the golden hour and see the magnificent garments she had woven with her own hands. For certain reasons, her wish was difficult to fulfill. But I managed to bring her a garment. <coughs> okay. Huh. Huh? What? Gilded Hour. <coughs> it's said to be Penacone's currency center. Yes. It is a fortress like financial city, the economic heart of the dreamscape. The Papeshi people of the Alfalfa family are there to keep it running. Alfalfa. Funding blood <coughs> that is made from money everywhere on Penacone. What? Everyone there is exquisitely dressed and always in a hurry. The greatest wish of the local Papeshi people is for their future generations to work in the Gilded Hour. Hmm. I've never met anyone who is willing to talk. I could only stand at the crossroads, watching crowds of people hurrying like the wind through the jungle of steel. Only to deposit the alfalfa credits that they'd earned into the bank's vault. Mm. I don't know if they would open the vault door, but before I left, I witnessed a well-dressed <laughs> Papeshi person plummet from the sky. All those around him continued <coughs> on their way, unfazed. What? I hear the blue hour is uh, very romantic. Do you have any tales to share? Perhaps Mr. Yang has heard. There is a large boat called the Aventide anchored along the Sea of Dreams. Mm -hmm. Soft music and dancing persist endlessly every night. Mm. I ran into a wizened lady there. She was at the dock, waiting for her long-departed lover to return. Waiting for countless hours within time that stood still. Hmm. In the humid sea breeze, she spoke of her own youth. Like many who desired wealth and love, they came to Panacone to pursue their dreams. Alas, her lover's consciousness was lost in the dark depths of the Sea of Dreams. Huh. Finally, she she's suggested been there for a while. we continue our conversation on a boat in the shallows. I agreed and boarded the boat with her. But she never said anything. Her eyes absent-mindedly gazing at the horizon for what seemed like forever. Finally, hmm. we retreated to the beach. Huh. Moment of the dusk. Dreamscape of chic, luxury, and consumerism, the moment of dusk. My companions have been there, too. You all must have seen those who are attempting to realize their dreams. Or have realized them. Scattering hmm. monies toward dust. And betting it on all or nothing. Everything has a price, and everything can be bought or sold. Even dreams themselves. I saw an Intellitron there. How does she know all this shit? Preparing to auction himself. When someone wins a bid under stipulated periods and rules, he would do the buyer's every bidding, becoming that person's very possession. Oh. That Intellitron had been auctioned off a dozen times. And I participated in his 13th. Yo! 13! 13 to send me the 13th! I'm in the game! Let's go! This time around, there were no successful bids for him. Fate. It's fate. Look, all I'm saying is. All I'm saying is it's fate, okay? Okay, that's it. It's fate. <laughs> that's everything. This is what I've seen and heard along the way. Someone once said to me, Penacone wasn't like this a long time ago. Nor <coughs> should it be. 
I've traveled through the reality and dreamscape of the planet of festivities. Hmm. Watched the tides of night rise and fall when time stopped for people. Where the spirits of the rich and impoverished remain forever fixed on their own scales. This is why I think the collapse of the beautiful dream is inevitable. There might be a way to change everything. Perhaps. But if this is indeed the world that people desire, if this is precisely why life chooses to slumber, Whoa. should we still seek to change it? Why does she keep talking with red text? I'm so confused. She's literally the only character who has red text when she speaks. What does that mean? Acheron, now it's my turn to share a story with you. There okay. was a man from my homeland who, at a time when the world was grappling with deep, unhealable pain, made a choice. Is this a story about Otto? He wove together the dreams of everyone in the world, linking people's dreamscapes, and shouldered this burden himself. From this, he created a giant, a spiritual Adam. Uh -oh. Since that moment, the giant Kevin? stood between heaven and earth, becoming the pillar of the world's existence. As a price, those who found it hard to move forward, who could not advance, forever lost their future. They slumbered in a dream, devoid of disaster and pain, living out their days peacefully in the man's created utopia. And it is because of the oh, wishes of those people who wished not to awaken <clears throat> that this spiritual Adam became unbreakable. Oh, the music. You stand here right now. Holy shit, the music. Which also means that man failed. Dude, the music, hello? Oof. Sorry, the music caught me off guard caught me off guard. <laughs> because people must always move towards the future. Even if human weaknesses make them pause when they truly cannot move forward, humanity will eventually seek a way to save itself. Bro, this mu okay. Sorry, the music really caught me off guard. I was not expecting it. And that man, he was never a failure. <clears throat> like everyone in that world, he etched <laughs> the possibilities of human nature into his heart. He was the sun chaser of legends. Oh my God, the music <clears throat> towards the sky and embracing his final victory with his fall. He ascended to heights uncharted, only to come face to face with the sun, a place not visited by anyone before. His wings would melt because of it, only for him to fall into the sea. And after that... Wow. Icarus, huh? Countless others would surpass him, soaring to even greater heights. Dude. Metaphor, the Dude. The fucking music is nuts, bro. I know what you wish to confirm. <laughs> the universe has innumerable similar yet different worlds. In these worlds, there are innumerable people who look alike yet don't. Mm -hmm. I too have embarked on journeys, encountering old friends with familiar faces on different worlds, witnessing their destinies follow paths similar to mine so I will tell you even if not completely similar the story you just told it overlaps with my past and within that abyssal dream oh my god she is right in May holy shit I ended that man's life alone I 
I am not who you think I am. Nor will my home be as fortunate as your world. <laughs> I am sorry. It's fine. I don't mind, so long as I can alleviate your suspicion. There's something I still wish to know, Miss Acheron. Under that representation of the hunt, exactly what sort of power is it that has motivated <coughs> your solitary journey thus far? Mr. Yang, before answering that question, I wish to continue the previous topic. Dude, this music is... Oh my god. This music. I like your analogy very much. Indeed, birds are born to fly. But in a distant past, their ancestors could only gaze at the sky in envy. They saw that faraway ray of light from above the heavens, piercing through the clouds and blanketing the earth. And so, time and time again, generation after generation, the birds spread their wings and took to the sky, attempting to touch its ceiling. All because the sun was there. A little then, kid laughing in the background. What if the last bird finally soars into the sky, only to realize that the end of the light is not the sun, but darkness. All-consuming black hole. <coughs> Wait. Then why? Exactly. Do we even walk towards the light? Oh, damn, that's deep. Oh, now we're back to Black Swan, apparently. <coughs> Who still hasn't answered the phone that's been ringing this entire time? It's been like an it's been like an hour and a half since we saw her. She's been standing there looking at this phone for the last ninety minutes. Who the fuck? This boy is that bootleg? It's not Constance. Could it be her companion? I'm sorry, well, country. I don't know exactly what you are or what you're up to. Bro, a country accent. It's got to be bootleg. He's a cowboy. My bullets will find. Yep, yep. It's bullet. Yep. Until then, you best find a casket store on Panacone and ask the owner to reserve a good quality casket for you, imposter. Oh. oh, 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 it is bootleg. I mean, boot hill. Fuck, why do I keep calling him bootleg, bro? Imposter? I see. She gave my whereabouts to someone who's tracking Acheron, too. Who are you? Huh? Uh, did I make a mistake? <laughs> uh, who the heck are you? <laughs> Bro. I'm the Garden of Recollections memo keeper. <laughs> Not bad. This is the kind of tough challenge I like. You got imposter's <laughs> bodyguard? <laughs> Never mind. It's fine. I'll leave around for you. So get that forehead clean and wait for me. What the fuck is bro doing? I don't know what you're talking about, but you know Acheron, the Galaxy Ranger, yes? I have something to ask you. <laughs> Are you asking me to write your will? Sure. Go ahead. Not quite. I only want to ask, how exactly did she become a Galaxy Ranger? She's clearly not a path strider of the hunt, but you are, aren't you? Tell me, what's Acheron's deal? Ooh. Ooh. I like that. She knows. She knows he's a hunt path strider. <laughs> sure. Heck, never thought I'd come across an ally. What a stroke of luck. <laughs> Pentacone soon. Uh, memo keeper. Go buy a bottle of his Donna's white oak and warm it up. And I'll raise a glass to you. Well, Bro's hitting on her. Lady's past. <laughs> well, the guy laughs a lot. Knows. Call him Sir Laughs a lot now. A simple answer. Sure. Bootleg. You best get a chair and take a seat. 
That woman named Acheron is an emanator <clears throat> who should not exist. True. True. I got a picture. Oh fuck, we're going to adventuring again. Blah. Blah. Thought I was done with this psycho. Sicko. You look pale. Or is that also part of your act? <laughs> I didn't think you'd have the nerve to show yourself. I thought this was exactly what you wanted. After all, I faithfully fulfilled my duties as you instructed. Just tell me if you can't hold on any longer. <coughs> so, the genius of the Council of Mundanites wants to be my undertaker now. My, what an honor. Yes, and I'm pretty sure the people at the Strategic Investment Department would love to be notified of your death in due time. But let's not forget, you won't <laughs> be seeing them, because I'm the manager of this task. Damn. Great. Then tell your people that Aventurine is ready to go in 17 system hours. Oh, you've got a lot of nerve. How exactly do you plan on completing your task while your hands are tied by the harmony? Mm. Well, my conversation with Sunday convinced me that there's a traitor in the family. And that they hold the secrets of Panacone. So, I took the opportunity to set everything in motion. Hmm. I even managed to recover the gift money. <laughs> Things haven't gone this smoothly since I walked through the doors of the reverie. <coughs> now I'm only hmm. one step away from victory. Let's just wait and see. Sounds like a very elaborate way of saying that you failed. <laughs> That's all I can say. Have you forgotten, Doctor? You betrayed me. Go. Do what you must. I look forward to the sight of the IPC fleet surrounding Panacone. You've achieved what you desired, haven't you? That's true but what's your plan did you conceal an orbital support beacon in that gift money bag well who knows maybe that's why i'm handing out cash even when <coughs> i'm about to bite the dust you are indeed a gambler an insane one at that mm -hmm. well, maybe i am who knows and uh, people say sparkles crazy this probe's turning out to be more crazy than Sparkle. Fine. Here, take this. Open it when you're on your last legs. You'll thank me. <clears throat> What's this? Medical advice? <clears throat> and he's gone. <laughs> you catch on pretty fast, Doctor. <laughs> Case without giving a single clue. How <laughs> typical. Wouldn't get it, scoundrel. But the way you're all on edge about that stowaway, <laughs> it's just as I guessed it would be. As for now, let the rain of wealth from the IPC fall <coughs> evenly on everyone. <coughs> 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 Jesus Christ, bro. Mundan Mundanite's insight. Okay, holding a doctor's prescription. Ratio advise you only to unveil it in a moment of life or death. You look distressed. Is something troubling you? If so, you can figure it out yourself. Damn. Is there even anything going on on this side? I don't think so. Dude, this quest is so much longer than I thought it would be. Like... Oh, I still have the shit all around me. That's quite unfortunate. Yo! 
Party time. Woo! Hell yeah. Party time, baby. <clears throat> yep. We can ask downwards. Expected nothing's there. Can I warp? No, this is like a trial area. Okay, interesting. Wow. They really planned this out. Tranquility. Wait, does this do it? Is this adventuring now or is it still? Oh no, it's the character, right? You can tell what you can't tell when windfall will come. Can I still gamba? Oh, I can still gamba? Let's go. Let's do some gamba. <laughs> Pog. Let's go. She. Can I still like talk to people? No. <clears throat> uh, the world has truly lost its way. Chad, bro. Bro's name is Chad, bro. <clears throat> This is some sort of prank show. <laughs> you must have some cameras set up around here to film yourself doing good deeds, right? <laughs> you youngsters are always looking for a quick way to get an audience. But you know what? A truly great show never comes easy. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, a great show will start soon, old man. But before that, I need to ask you something. Do you know where I can find death in this dream? Ah, I see. Another fearless youngster looking for death. Oh, well. <laughs> Let me give you a piece of advice. Don't think you're the first one. What is happening, bro? Of that idea. <laughs> yeah. Not even remotely innovative. I bought it from Dr. Edward. He claimed it was some exclusive fancy schmancy stuff. Fancy schmancy stuff. The effects were awful. First, some monster covered in eyes stabs you in the gut. And then all okay. you see are blurry <clears throat> glimpses of buildings and lights. The sky was spinning so fast it almost made me puke. <laughs> Is that all? Yeah. What else can you expect? Don't put too much stock in the Pentaconi movie industry. They even call this junk groundbreaking art. Can you believe it? <laughs> what a joke. Well, I'll leave you be then. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bruh. <clears throat> monster covered in eyes. That sounds like the memory zone meme. <clears throat> but buildings and lights. I don't think those have anything to do with death. Now, that whole dream bubble was probably created using rumors and gossip. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> I can feel something inside my head. Uh, is the harmony starting to kick in? <laughs> Would you be willing to support my performance? <coughs> Keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos. Oh, it's LaRose. Wow. <coughs> Why would you give such a wonderful gift to a random stranger like me? Well, you see, I can't bear to see anyone in this sweet dream suffering from poverty. That's incredibly kind of you. Thank you so much, sir. Is he about to? Is he risen this girl up? <laughs> Please, feel free to come by and indulge in my singing. Indulge, A.O.? <laughs> sure thing. Oh, by the way, do you happen to know anything interesting about death? Death? That's a pretty scary topic, <laughs> and it doesn't really match the mood of this sweet dream. <laughs> oh, you see, I'm a tabloid reporter collecting <laughs> ghost stories in Panacone. <laughs> As you know, the more chilling the stories, the more attention they get. <laughs> Maybe 
you could help me out. Why is Bro trying to riz her up? Well, if you're up for some gossip, <laughs> it's not about death, but there have been some rumors about a guest at the reality hotel who fell into a deep sleep and didn't wake up. Hmm. It was like they were in some sort of coma. Nobody knows what caused it, but luckily the customer eventually regained consciousness. Well, all customers are under the protection of the family, after all. Right. Thank you. This will make for a very juicy headline. May she they protect us? Unexplained coma. <laughs> That's actually what happens to your body if your brain dies in a dream. But unfortunately, mm. the customer ended up waking up in the end. Uh huh. <laughs> Disturbing voice in my head. It's getting closer. Oh, I'm walking on the lights. Look at me. Boom. Would you be willing to support my performance <clears throat> and keep the song of beauty alive in the cosmos? Hell yeah. <sighs> the world has <laughs> truly lost its way. No, you've lost your way, loser. Bochi. I know that name. Three kinds of research feel a bit bloated. <laughs> Take care, my friend. <coughs> oh, it's woozy. If you find yourself in danger, remember that the hounds are always ready to help. <laughs> 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 you okay. don't look good, my friend. Hold on. If you need assistance, <coughs> I can contact the hotel. <coughs> Have them wake you up forcefully. <laughs> Expression on this hulk of hunk of a man was com complex, as if you were looking at a mud-soaked sparrow, unable to fly and nearing its end. Okay. <laughs> that won't be necessary. I have some business to attend to, but thank you all the same. All right, then. If you ever need help, <laughs> don't hesitate to reach out to us hounds. Well, actually, I do need a favor. <coughs> As the most outstanding <laughs> hound in Panacone, have you come across any stowaways recently? Okay. Stowaways? How could there be stowaways in Panacone? We've never had anything like that before. <laughs> All right. Good luck with your work then. I like how he didn't ask him directly about death. What was I <coughs> thinking? <laughs> Family would never share intel with the IPC. Yeah. <laughs> oh, does everyone have to go through so much torment before joining <coughs> the family? Oh, darn it. No. <laughs> Now I just want to dig out my brain and use it as evidence. Sparkle's so fucking hot. God, I want to... No, I'm not going to... I'm not going to... Intrusive thoughts. I'm not going to say that one out loud. I was about to say something very sus. Like, more sus than I've been saying this whole time. Let worries leave. I know I have what it takes to become a poet. Oh? You... You're giving these gifts <clears throat> to me? Didn't expect to meet such a generous <coughs> in this place. Well, that is what it is. <clears throat> or are you just pitying me? Well, it really doesn't matter. As long as I have Soul Glad, that's enough. This is just I'm a much bigger fan of Don't Wake Me Up. <laughs> you really shouldn't drink so much Soul Glad, my friend. It's not good for your health. Oh. <laughs> what? Maybe I really should quit. But not before meeting the devil of soul glad. The devil of soul glad. <laughs> the devil of soul glad? <laughs> Care to elaborate? <laughs> yeah. What? A seahorse. Sea With a long neck. What? 
They say it loves to appear to junk people, <coughs> especially the ones who are passed out on the side of the road. <laughs> How funny. Grab a bottle of Soul Glad. Make your jeans a blast. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, still more? Okay. Uma, the news anchor. Okay. Or the merchant security. I'm gonna ask the news anchor. <coughs> you wanna talk to me? Sure, but nothing too <coughs> sensitive, okay? Ah. Huh. Wealthy people have fancy ways to enjoy this dream. <laughs> <coughs> but to be honest, I've never seen anyone who gives out money to others like you. <sighs> so, are you trying to be the prince from the tale, handing out his gold leaf garment and melting his lead heart in the fire? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. I'm Ooh. Honored. I'm <coughs> no prince, and I just thought these gems would help you speak. So, as an investigative reporter, Maybe you've heard something about death. Oh, another <coughs> curious soul. I see. <laughs> well, that was actually the topic. Why does she sound like when I entered the industry? But my boss shut it down. How did your boss talk you out of it? <coughs> well, she simply said, covering baseless urban legends like that would make us look like some third-rate tabloid. Or Ganyu. I thought about it, and she had a point. Reporting on stuff like blowing out birthday candles and getting spooked by the ghosts isn't exactly professional <coughs> material. Mm, guess mm. she's got a point. Thank you for sharing. Uh, covering bases, urban legend will make us look like some third rate tabloid. <coughs> <sighs> Damn, bro, calm down. It's not that deep. You'll live. You'll be fine. I mean, you won't live, but you'll be fine. <coughs> you wanting to talk to me? <coughs> I thought you were checking out something behind me. <laughs> this? Gift? For me? Are you sure this isn't some kind of mistake? Yes, it's for you. Just take it. <laughs> Is this for real? Someone is actually giving me a gift. Not for my parents, but for me. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bro is so tall. No, it's not. Why are the NPCs in this I game so tall, dude? Something. I knew it. What's on your mind? Are you trying to ask about my father or my mother? Neither. Um. Neither. <laughs> I just <clears throat> wanted to know if you've never heard about death. In the dreamscape? Oh, you sound just like my father. <laughs> Always warning me Bro, about danger, even this guy dream. likes to talk about his parents. He's an Intellitron, so mm. his dream entry methods oh, are different wait. Than organics. Wait, what? You can't count on him to protect you <clears throat> if something does go haywire. Wait, how is your dad but an Intellitron? Right now I'm still under how, do, protection. how do you give birth as a as a as a, as a as a robot? Hey, well, not a robot, but like as a cyborg. Positive. Does that mean they still have, like, working reproductive systems? Like, are their reproductive organs all intact? The devil is soul glad. Dangers in the dream. And nightmare ghosts. Well, surely death is a popular topic in this. I like how she's not flat. Granted by the like, Silver was flat. Well, Ching Chui is flat. Rumors, Sparkle? Nope. No she got some boo. Clues. She got some booba. <clears throat> the gems in my bag are running low. Well, let's see if my last lucky interviewee brings some surprises. Yep. Oh. Okay, we're not going to walk up to her and talk to her. <coughs> oh shit. Remember what I said? You Sithonians <gasps> are better off hiding in the sewers. Sparkle! Yes! My queen. Snooping <coughs> around and sticking your nose everywhere. That's why she sounded familiar. Is the smell of yes. So enticing, my fine fellow. I love her. I love her. Yes, my wife. <laughs> oh, it's you, masked fool. 
I should have guessed it. <coughs> You're the imposter who appeared on TV after Robin's death, right? I love her. Look at her and her smug face. How can you not love her? I heard you got caught by the fan eye. I gave you a clear clue. Befriend a mute. Simple and straightforward, you know? Oh, she was actually trying to help them. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> what did you do? You messed it up and ended up as their prisoner. I told you to make friends with a mute, not become one yourself. You really let me down. <laughs> God, she's so. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I just, I can't, I can't, man. She's so. God, she's so hot. Fuck, man. What do you mean? You know better than I do. Who watched the little songbird that couldn't sing perish <coughs> right before their eyes? You did, Blondie. Blondie. <laughs> oh, I love her, dude. She's so. Oh, yes. No, I mean. <laughs> what did you mean by becoming one of <coughs> Well, it means you'll soon end up like her, unable to speak ever again. Ooh, no, she makes a good point. <laughs> but it's a good thing if you ask me, because. Because you're a Sigodian. Because I'm getting closer to the truth, right? God, look at her face, bro. How can you not? She's so fucking hot. Oh, uh. oh, oh. Can you owe me, baby girl? Dude, I'm, mm, that bell, oh, that bell on her. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. I'm not having any weird thoughts. Why else do you think I'm handing out cheap trinkets all over the streets, fool? All part of the act. Fool's bait. Ooh. The more pathetic <coughs> I seem, the more likely you'll come sniffing around. So, now that I've drawn you out, will you reward me with an <coughs> answer for my efforts? Oh shit. Why should I help you? You Sigonian scum! Don't you want to see Panacone descend into... chaos? Oh well, shit. <coughs> I can make that happen. I just need an answer to one question. Back then, when you asked me to find a mute, did you really mean Robin? Hmm. And what if I say no? God, I need- oh my god, I want to do so many things to her, bro. Then I'll thank you. <laughs> oh, the word <coughs> no has never sounded so pleasing. <laughs> well done. I admit I underestimated you. But what difference would it make? God, she's so hot. Fuck, man. I want to do... Let me tell you something. There were two mutes. But <coughs> one is dead now. And the other... Though he's still in Penacony, I'm afraid you'll never find him again. Oh my god, look at her. Ah! <coughs> now I'm completely sure that I was on the right track from the beginning and never strayed, fool. Okay. Okay. Right now, there are only two things missing from my grasp. <coughs> the meaning behind the truth, and the means to expose it. Okay. <laughs> How impressive. That's quite a fancy way of saying I haven't learned anything so far. <laughs> Not exactly. I've gathered enough clues to prove its existence. <coughs> That's enough for me. As for the answers okay. to questions, he's getting. He's oh, wait. Let him cook. Hold on. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. <laughs> oh really? Only sixteen system hours? Well, let me lend you a hand. Oh, you're gonna help? Here you go. 
This is my precious, mutually assured destruction button. And I have one just like it. When either so of us hot. passes it, the other and the whole of Penicone will go up in smoke. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. Sparkle, I believe you. Yeah, 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 we believe you. If you're really so desperate for the IPC to take over Penicone, blowing up the chessboard isn't a bad idea. Start from scratch. <laughs> That's where the IPC excels, right? God, fuck. They need to stop. They're giving me the perfect... Oh, oh. Sorry, she, she turned her head slightly. It was, like, kind of hot. I'm okay. Just press the button when you're at your wit's end. And of course, feel free to reach out to me for my hospice care, too. Oh, the dude. Oh, my God. Her, dude, she's giving me the eyes, bro. Oh, button, huh? I'm just giving him the eyes. Fuck. I'm just give me those eyes. Can she look at me with those eyes? <laughs> How on earth did you manage to bring it in here? <laughs> I have my own ways. That's all you need to know. Do those ways involve um, getting... <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't say that out loud. Don't say it out loud. Don't say it out loud. It's a joke. It's a joke. 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 By the way, I have no plans to search for the other mute friend you speak of, but it's good to hear that he's still here in Penicone. I'll handle the rest myself. I'll orchestrate a grand finale for the downfall of the family. And at the climax. The walls will crumble, people will wake up, and those who couldn't speak will find their voices again. Oh. <clears throat> when that time comes, go ahead, press the button, light up the sky with a magnificent fireworks display for me. Oh. <clears throat> Catch you later, fool. <laughs> <laughs> You're still talking big, but sure, if that happens, I'll stay true to my word. I don't I don't know. I think she's I think she's trolling. Just don't let me down now. Okay? Sparkle, I would never let you down. I I would never ever ever let you down. Not ever. Why I would have to be crazy. What the fuck? <clears throat> oh, number 35. You're back. Like your new lucky charm. <clears throat> what the fuck? Can a commodity code really be considered a lucky charm? <coughs> Silence! I didn't give you permission to speak, you Sidonian hound. Damn. The guys in black didn't say much, so I've no idea what you did to save your skin in that massacre back in the day. Damn, hold up. But I figured you must have had good luck, <laughs> so I bought you. From what the now fuck? On, you and your good luck are my assets. Hmm. Are we clear? Oh. Your first task is simple. In addition to you, I've purchased 30, uh, well, 34 other slaves. Ugh. Go, so wait. Play a game with them. You came out alive after two days. It proves that you are the real deal. What is happening anymore, bro? <clears throat> You're insane. <clears throat> <laughs> Testing out if you're a good product. <clears throat> uh, aren't you worried that the money you spent on me will go to waste? I've got stacks on stacks, Blondie. The slave market is never short of self-righteous brats like you. How'd he end up a slave? But you look good. And that's why many customers are betting their fortunes on a scrawny brat like you. So go along now and uh, don't let your master down. <sighs> How much did he spend? What? My price. Uh, how much did you pay? Why is he asking that? For me. Huh. You really want to know? Hmm. Well, it was 60 tanva. No more, 
no less. Damn. <clears throat> I'll take my chances. 30 tanva. If I come back alive, you'll give me 30 tanva. Deal? <laughs> Are you trying to strike a bet with me? <laughs> oh, you've got some guts. Yeah, sorry, but uh, that won't do. Don't forget your place, slave. You're not qualified to be at the table. Oh, God. You're just a chip. A life thrown away in someone else's hands. Either you come back with more chips for your master, or you never come back. Jeez, this is fucked up. It's all <laughs> or nothing. Don't embarrass me, my lucky. Dude, what happened to this man? Like, what? <laughs> okay, now we're going back to Trailblazer POV. Wow. What brings you here, Gallagher? Whoa. Some friends from the old days. Do you have a moment to spare, Siobhan? Siobhan? Oh, <clears throat> oh her. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dream Jolt Hostelry. Is she an NPC or a playable this character? Bar a wide variety of drinks, Looks like she is an NPC model, but this model, like this this design is too elaborate. Extraordinary. We're dedicated to serving up nothing but pure joy and laughter. <laughs> what would you like to drink? I'll whip it up for you. Oh, look! A lady as cool as Serval! <laughs> I think she is Serval. Who's Serval? <coughs> Will you, uh, me to her? <coughs> yeah, you two would get along great. <laughs> She's heard us. Just spare them, my esteemed bartender. I'll take over the bar today. I'm getting uh -huh. up there in age, and I need some practice before I forget the skills that used to put food on my table. Uh, where did you stash the ingredients? They're all under the counter. Since our guests have traveled from afar, shouldn't you whip up some special drinks? That's exactly what I had in mind. <laughs> okay. Hey, my friends, do me a favor. Go around the bar and bring me any ingredients you fancy. What? Oh. The discussion might take quite some time. <clears throat> okay. So I'll prepare some customized non-alcoholic drinks for you. I'm... The bar? But aren't all the ingredients right there on the counter? <clears throat> Why we're in a dream, my lovely lady. Yeah, it's 11:30 already, bro. I've been streaming forever. Hunger, confusion, or even boredom. This is a very long All quest. Right at your fingertips. <clears throat> but it's been pretty good. It's been a lot of interesting stuff. She just called me. Unlike Genshin, where 95% of it is yap fest. Even in reality, <clears throat> there's been a little bit of yapping in this, though. I won't lie. Together. Like this, like this is some filler right atmosphere. here. Master technique and spin a tale of mystery and anticipation. Bro, we don't care. Only then can a perfect drink crafted with a customer's life story be created. <laughs> In other words, what you get from your drink is down to like the Boot Hill stuff was interesting, it. right? But this isn't, this no nobody cares about this. To enjoyment. <clears throat> okay, and let me tell you, don't underestimate the bartenders of Fenagoni. Especially not Gallagher. This guy is pure magic. He can satisfy even the pickiest of customers. Uh huh. Don't go easy on this old man. <clears throat> Give him a real challenge. Okay. So we should definitely do some stuff. That being said, mixing a drink is way simpler than you'd imagine. Just pick your favorite ingredient. Oh, there's Himiko. Glass, mix it up, and it's done. Right. So go ahead. Explore the bar and bring me any ingredients you prefer. All right. Go ahead, my friend. I'm sure you'll find splendid <coughs> ingredients. All right. So we got Himiko over here. Let's talk to her. Oh. I'm so glad. But I thought they didn't sell so glad at the bar. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Let's give it a shake. <laughs> nice. It's still fizzy and has a long shelf life. Grab a bottle of so glad. Make it dreams of glass. It's no good for our drink if all shaken up. Uh huh. <coughs> I let's just leave it here for a while, and it'll be all right, right? Psst. Why don't they sell Soul Glad in this 
bar. Did something happen? It's just too it's popular. All about the bartender's pride. It oh, make there we go. Himiko is talking. To come here <coughs> and order drinks they can find anywhere else. Yep. That's the mindset I use when I brew my coffee. Fair enough. Uh, <laughs> you're right, Himiko. That's why your coffee always has such an interesting taste to it. Oh, we actually got okay. Not sure why I'd ever want that, but sure. Um, recipe. Oh, I just got the recipe. Oh, that's amazing. Because now I can make some of my own soul glad, and then make my dreams a blast. You know, I've been here before. Because this goes... Yeah, because this goes out here. Yeah, I've been here before, I think. Haven't I? Yeah, because I already have this thing right here. Yeah, I've been here. I came here uh, the first time I did this mission. Or initially, I got I got sidetracked and I wandered off into this area. Because it was all like... It allowed me to. So I was like, oh. Okay, how do I get into the bar? Oh, no, that goes down. Um... Wait, how do I get into the bar? He told me to go behind the bar. <clears throat> uh, can this be used for mixing drinks? Oh, and there's a note underneath. Exchange with your precious things. Mm -hmm. oh, what should we exchange for it? <laughs> and who should we give our stuff to? Alright, here we go. Ready? My precious things. They have to go. <laughs> I'll miss you, bag of trash. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? You can't just throw trash. Uh, no way. The words of the note are changing. <laughs> Happiness is the dream of the humble. Uh, does this mean we can take it? <laughs> Feels weird about this. If you didn't choose the trash option there, you're not a true trash panda. Oh, like S Stella. <laughs> not sure if it's enough. Stay out of my way. I'm looking for Siobhan. Uh huh? What's all the commotion about? Yeah, truly. I was just going to look at the details of this. Is that really all that's here? There's not any other bars? Like any other cups or bar things at all? That's unfortunate. I was really hoping for more. Yeah, what is happening? Oh. <clears throat> Haven't I made myself clear enough, Miss Amagi? The Dream Jolt Hostelry <clears throat> only welcomes guests who want to enjoy a drink to their heart's content. I'm sorry, but I'm not interested in your proposal. <clears throat> but you have the talent. You'll attract a huge audience. <coughs> You're destined for the Iris stage, bruh. not for this rundown shack. Clearly, she doesn't want to be here, bro. With me, we'll become the talk of Pentecost. Calm down, blood. Light. It's In not that deep. Corner of the dreamscape. Please, Siobhan, I really need you. It's not that deep, bro. It's not that deep. <laughs> As you see, I'm entertaining my guests. <clears throat> Don't make me repeat myself. Fine. <clears throat> if you don't come along, I'll just sit here Oof. and not go anywhere else. Give me a sparkling drink. Sweet. With extra ice. Hmm. Just <sighs> one moment. Okay. What's her deal? <clears throat> Discuss the case with other people hanging around the bar. Hey, I'll be fine. Can you do that clockwork trick of yours again? Oh no. Uh, how come even you, Himiko? Hurry. <laughs> yeah, I'm counting on you. Really gonna make me do that? Ugh. It's a pain in the ass, but okay. everywhere <clears throat> a few days ago an actor from the iris family came caused a ruckus with siobhan oh those chips must have gotten scattered during all the chaos you can only imagine how intense the... <laughs> so enemies drop gold coins even in a dream <laughs> that's a clever <clears throat> metaphor <clears throat> uh, that being said <laughs> opening a bar in this place filled with monsters 
It's quite a feat. Siobhan must have a lot of tricks up her sleeve, right? You'll have to ask her yourself to find out. But I have a feeling she won't budge unless you impress her with an incredible drink. <laughs> okay. Damn. Yo, I got the recipe for high stakes. I didn't know that was a recipe. Alright. <laughs> but there were more recipes laying around. I just happened to miss one for some reason. Um, maybe there's like something over here. I'm just wandering around looking for drink recipes at this point. There's no way there's not more. I don't want to miss any. I think that's all of them, actually. That might be all of them. Because I'm looking around, I haven't seen any more. So let's do this stuff right You're here. You're one of guests, right? <laughs> what can I do for you? If you're here to convince me to leave, please stop it. I'll never leave until she accepts my proposal. Bro, she don't want your proposal, dog. Get why she will leave this place. This rundown shack with no customers whatsoever. Shaban just said anything can be imbibed, imbibed. Perhaps you can try various experiments to see what different emotions can brew with different drink ingredients. <laughs> We're going to make her so sad. <clears throat> it's ridiculous, Frank. <clears throat> Our paths were never meant to cross. <laughs> yet I'm still <laughs> holding on to her. Yeah. And? I'm too timid and shy. Longing to shine, but afraid of stepping into the spotlight. I need her guidance. Because I'll never be able to do anything alone. Bro, I don't care about your life story. Oh, no. <coughs> Siobhan's past. Whoa. And you have no clue how... Calm down, bro. She used to be. <laughs> Even among the talented Ivers family, her skill... <laughs> Was unmatched. Okay. <clears throat> I know she probably thinks I'm just trying to ride her fame to get ahead. <clears throat> but all I want is for her to reclaim her place. The inexpressible mix of bitterness and sweetness that permeates the air makes when your emotion turns to liquid, filling up your goblet. What? Yo, sheesh! Eternal endurance. I got a recipe. I just don't get. Okay, so we did sadness. Let's make her angie. <clears throat> it was darn Iris Jarrett. So they're the <laughs> ones who forced Siobhan into hiding here, running this pesky <laughs> bar. <laughs> it's all their dirty scheming. Uh, nah, 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 nah. I get it now. She's not leaving because she doesn't want to run into them again. I, I can help clear the way for her. I can do her a favor. I'll go back and write a letter to the Dream Master exposing the crimes committed by the Iris family. Siobhan will definitely appreciate it. Does this actually work? That actually fucking... Oh, no, it didn't. Okay. Things might get out of control if she gets any angrier. Oh. I need to come up with another plan. I just don't get why she won't leave this place. Okay, so clearly anger is not the correct answer. Which means the only answer is happiness? Because you've already done calm. I've seen it. <coughs> the moment. When Siobhan and I share the stage... Is this not working? The crowd is going wild. <laughs> applause crashing like waves. The aroma of irises fills the air. A beautiful melody playing. <clears throat> ribbons dancing around us. And the taste... What? Is sweeter than honey. Is this not working? I've seen <clears throat> that scene countless times <clears throat> in my dreams. And every time... It mesmerizes me. That's why I have 
Uh, why is happiness not? Happiness didn't work. Are you serious? Want to raise a glass, my attentive listener? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't talk to me like that. A toast. <laughs> Don't hit on me. Are you hitting on me? <clears throat> uh. Well. Talking to you has got me feeling a bit down. My thoughts are swirling, <clears throat> making my mind clear, and bringing tears to my eyes. So you are sad. Maybe <clears throat> I should find a place to reflect on what Siobhan truly means to me. Here's the okay. payment for the drinks. <clears throat> Please, pass it on to her. I'm leaving now. Let's go. Finally, Nothing God. Is left? <clears throat> what a waste of time. That's good for her. Radio <clears throat> dreams may be enticing, but they're nothing more than dreams. Her drink is on the house. Please keep the money. <laughs> okay. When you're ready, go to Gallagher. <clears throat> I can tell he's itching to show off his skills. <clears throat> All right. Cool. Let's go. We got another drink. Woo! Oh, I should have done calmness, I guess. But I didn't think it would let me go back to calm since she started on calm. But it did actually give me the option. Himiko, what you got? Nothing? Okay. Where's March? I want to talk to March. But I guess she's with me right now. <clears throat> Walking around with me talking. Ooh. Oh, we did miss one. Check out this bottle. The liquid inside looks beautiful. And the label reads Dream Syrup Thick. Thick. With three C's. Date, like Robin. <laughs> half an amber era ago. She drinking this stuff can't lead to anything good. That's for sure. Unless maybe it hasn't expired yet. Okay. Did you find the bottle of syrup I've been hoarding? Don't worry, it's all just a dream, and it won't upset your stomach. It's been aging for years, and should have a refined taste by now. <laughs> Feel free to have some. It's perfect for entertaining lovely guests like you. Ugh. Then we'll keep it for now. Let's go. Sheesh. Yo. So many, so many recipes all for me. That's crazy. Are there any more? I feel like there should be more. Uh huh. I might actually missed that one the, like 17 times I passed that spot. I, I think that might be all of them. If there are any more, I sure as heck don't see them. Like, this could be one of them, but it's not. And I got the things here, I got the things there. And nothing here. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing on this table. Nothing on that table. Nothing over here. Nothing here. Yeah, I think that's all of them. Okay, well, I guess I'm gonna pick one out and give it to Gallagher. Um, what time is it? 11.50. Uh, let's... Okay. I'm going to end stream, I think. Get some things here. Get some, uh, yeah, to Icarus. Relive the past in a part of my land. Listen to Akron and Welt's conversations. Okay. I think, um, I've not done this yet. Yeah, I, I, left, I left Hanya on red, lol. She was, yeah, she was yapping about something, and I just totally didn't listen. Uh, goddamn. What a wall of text. <clears throat> Ain't no way. <clears throat> Bruh. Uh, are we suspects?
Bro, Hanya keeps yapping, bro. <clears throat> okay. Look, I like Hanya, but man, she yaps. <laughs> She's got that fluent, fluent in Japanese. Uh, have I done this yet? Already, not that, not that. Have I? I think I've gotten all of these, right? Yeah, I got all the daily rewards from that. Okay, so yeah, I'm an end stream. It's midnight. It's been like seven hours. It's been like five hours, okay? Five or six hours that I've been doing this, and we're not even like done yet. So uh, tomorrow I'll stream again, and I will finish up the story. Um, so that'll be fun. Thank you for watching. If you have watched so far, I appreciate you. For anyone who stopped in, I appreciate all of you. Um, and just thank you, you know? Honestly, um, you know, as much as I'm always like, oh man, I wish I was a bigger creator, blah, blah, blah. Just having people that will watch, even if, even if I'm the only, like, I mean, even if it's just one person, you know, like Jabbery in this case, but even if it's like, you know, Shadow Boxer or, you know, Sophie or Artemis or, um, any of my regulars, really, um, Josh. Just anyone who's usually here. And even if they're not usually here, just anyone who likes my stuff enough to subscribe, I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you. Um, you know, I I truly do. And yeah, it means a lot to me. So if you are new, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to leave a like on the stream. And check out my YouTube videos. Give those likes as well. Um, share those with people you think would enjoy them. I'm working on a new video. I don't think that I'll be ready this week. Well, it might be ready um, soonish. It's going to revolve around Fontaine and talking about the Fontaine story. Because now that Arlecchino's story quest is coming out, um, it's going to be relevant again to talk about like Fontaine's main storyline and I kind of want to just give my like because I, I think the storyline is massively overrated I think it's not that like it's fine like it's good but it's not like in, amazing like I think people are saying it's so great but it's really not and I just want to talk about that and just kind of talk about why I don't think it's all that great so yeah again thank you for watching I hope you all have a wonderful evening or whatever time it is for you leave a like Subscribe, join the Discord server, that's in the description, and have yourselves a wonderful night. I said that already, but I'm a yapper, so I'm going to keep yapping, all right? Later, y'all.